Greetings, foolish mortals. Tis I, Cat. Um, I bet you guys are wondering why I'm not back to Final Fantasy XV. Well, I have a very legitimate reason. I can't co hold my controller. Um, context would be useful. Um, I am currently having to do it. I'm currently, due to my allergies, I'm suffering from very, very bad hives. I have no issues talking about this. And I have to put freaking, uh, hydrocortisone cream on my hand on my on my arms right now and legs and neck the hives are spreading and it's concerning me and well basically my hands are so greasy i can't hold my controller properly and yeah before you say why don't you just wash your hands the hives are on my hands too it sucks and listen some people are gonna be like ew that's gross why are you talking about that i'm like i don't i don't care it's so, I'm pl I had to go through my game archives, find a game that doesn't require me to think a lot, because I'm really, 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 yeah right now because of allergy pills. And the only thing I could find was House Flipper that doesn't require a keyboard and mouse that doesn't make me have to think too hard. So, I hope you guys like House Flipping. I did some of the campaign earlier, and I remember I did it with Grimm, and I also remember that I kind of, sort of, was cranky because he kept making it a downer. Maybe I will be better now. Hold on, I have a message. Hello, Ark. Yes, goody. And I will have a co-host. If he answers his phone. Waiting for him to get the connection. Ark. Ark. Hello. Technical difficulties. It's always wonderful. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Hello, Ark. Welcome to my Yo. stream. <laughs> All right. Let's see how this is going. Yep, you're my co-host. It's because I hate the music in this game and I need something to t talk to and listen to without going insane. Uh, so nice to know that I'm uh, useful. Well, it's either that or I have to do a really, really fit or I play music that I have, but that's a copyright issue, and I don't want to have to deal with copyright bots right now and go through all my music to know which ones are copyright safe. Nah, it's fine. I mean, it was either this or I watch uh, My Hero Academia, so. Oh, go, 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 go back to watching my All Might and His Greatness. <laughs> it, it's, it's, well, I haven't, like, I haven't seen the series since, like, the middle of season two, so I decided I wanted to go and just, like, do the whole series. Yeah. Isn't My Hero Academia great? Also, did you get the Twitch link? Yes, okay. I'm in chat right now. Ah, uh, good. I wonder if I can make you a mod. Uh, I don't get anyone really on my Twitch streams anyway. And yet you still do them. Because <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one in the chat right now. Yeah. I'm not even in the chat right now because I don't even have window. I don't even have my freaking uh, browser up. So, uh, welcome to House Flipping. Flipping of the house. I'm aware of the game. I'm glad you're aware of the game. Do you remember the con Aha! That's how you do it. I, I said I was aware of the game. I didn't say I'd ever play it. Or I've ever played it. I, I am didn't... poor, so... Yeah, I recently decided, due to the Sega, um, Sega sale, I decided to buy all the Yakuza games! Nice! For 20 bucks! Come on, it was a, it's a steal! It's usually oh, yeah, steal. yeah. Yeah, for the series, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Yeah. Aha. Okay, so... We have... I have done a few of these. But we still have more to do. And right now I don't have all the stuff to be able to do my own house flipping, so I have to go through campaign mode, if you will. Mm -hmm. Ooh, inhabitable bunker. <laughs> so you see the screen. What do you see? A uh, baby on the way, radiator, small lawn and pool, trees need cutting down, students' house need clean up. See any that popped into you and you need to... <sighs> I guess... I mean, I guess if for completion's sake, you could always go with the student's house needs to be cleaned up, so that way, you know, you have that whole section filled in. Good point. Instead of, instead of just, like, the one random thing. Oh, cockroaches. It's like Oh, Lord. my good gravy. Oh, jeez. If, if I had my webcam up, I'd be, you, you would see me doing the freaking uh, spectacle step to Skull's wallet and watch. Uh, crossing myself. <laughs> I'm not even Catholic. All right. Let's go in. How bad do you think it is? I mean, it's a, it's basically college students. Meaning it's gonna be bad. Young teenagers who've never left their- who are first time on their own. Oh, oh. 
Oh. Sweet Jiminy. <laughs> not as bad as I have seen. I've seen some... I don't watch Hoarders, I want to state, but I ha I see the previews for Hoarders. I actually had to help uh, clean out a person's house one time. Ugh. It took us like a week to do so. Yeah. Oh, oh. What are those stains? You don't want to know, probably. Yeah. See, you're a better co-host than- I had Grim co-host with me once, and he was like depressed the whole time and kept making jokes that- Because he's Oof. like- this so I'm like, no, I need someone who's fun and happy. Oh, okay. Clean. Clean. Unclean. Unclean. Clean. <laughs> this is funny because I have this advice for a cleanup detail, and then my mom f sees what I have on my th game list, and she's like, you hate cleaning. Why do you have two games that are focused on it? Visser oh, yeah, Vistar cleanup. Yeah, oh, that's an interesting one. I love the Halloween one because there's so many Halloween Easter eggs that make mm -hmm. me laugh. Okay, move objects, okay, uh, tablet, it's been a year since I've played this game. Okay, so we need to clean the windows, clean the dirt, remove the trash, mount a device, Ew. But what device is being mounted? It looks like a, uh, oh, radiator. Yeah, you know what a radiator is. Why, why would they have radiators? Like, it's, a, it's, it's most likely in a place that isn't Florida. I'm sorry, but, uh, why? Also, I have to question why they would call them, why they called them radiators to begin with, because do you really want to have something that sounds like it's irradiating you? Listen, I'm not an expert at entomology, insectology, wordology. Okay, and they also want to paint this room white. But the black looks awesome! I mean, they are college students, what do you expect? Also, Look clean that window. Yes, yeah. Both, both, clean, bent, both, yeah, clean both windows. Squeegee! Squeegee! Eee! I like... Eee! 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 It's, not like, it's actually not that noisy, it just makes a whoosh sound. It oh, I know. It's one of those electric squeegees. See? You were the- you should have been my co-host when I was doing this game. It's fun! <laughs> it's just like, I think because the guy I was, uh, uh, Grim, when I was hosting it with him, I think he just recently did a lot of housework, so it was like... Bad timing. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Okay, so... Eh, eh, eh. Anyway, I should be right back real quick, because I need to go check on my spaghetti. Yummy! Bring me a yep, pot. Right back. Uh... I don't think you want me to bring you a pot of spaghetti, because I just put the noodles in, so it's, you know... Alright, good point. Be right back. Uh, also, what is with what is with those stains on the window beyond just, you know, the dust and such? I don't the want to... It's green. That's the thing I'm extra concerned about. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, you'll probably have to paint all that over, but anyway, get back. All right. All right. Clean. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. What? 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 What trash am I missing? Trash. In there. That's trash? That's art! It's nice art. Okay, I need to buy white. Yep. Yep. Alright, I'm back. How is the uh, painting and cleaning going? Well, it's telling me I need to remove this because they considered this trash, but I'm like, this is art! It's beautiful! Well, apparently that's, uh, it's trash, apparently. Uh, according to the people who own this house who lent it out to college students, first mistake there, kid, dude. Most likely freshman, too, because I have a friend who's currently in college who is, I think, a junior and is rooming with a freshman, and freshmen are the worst! Well, I mean, are you surprised they're, it's in the name? They're fresh? Mm-hmm. 
hate that we have to paint this room white. I don't know. I like the black. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a reason why when I finally do actually house flip all the houses, I'm going to be painting the rooms colorful. It's like, ugh, I hate white. I live in an all-white house. My grandma's like, white house when we got the house built and painted. And she's like, all the wo oh, the walls are white. The ceiling is white. The floor is, wh is white linoleum. <laughs> See, the thing is, is that I'm not a fan of white. I would go for more of a cream color because black, I think, is too much of a problem. Like, in a room, it is fine, but in a whole house, I think black is too too much. Also, but cream is good enough to the point where it's like, it's not quite white, but it's not quite yellow, so, you know. Yeah, it's like, it's not sterile. Yeah, it gives it a bit of vibrancy. Yes. That's why when I actually, when I was in high school, my teach my English teacher when I was a junior... She decided to paint the room, and they're like, there, there's a list of paints she's allowed to paint her room. Mm -hmm. And two of the colors are orange and black, because that's our high school colors. Mm -hmm. Go Highlanders. That's uh, orange would just be too much. Orange It'd just is, be too strong. Yeah, well, she picked this really lovely yellow, actually. It was a very pale yellow, like, you know, not more yellow than white. It was very nice. Mm -hmm. It's very, very pleasing to the eye. I okay. liked it. And she's like, technically, this is not a color approved. I lied. Because <laughs> I didn't know our school had, like, rules on, you know, how what color you can paint your rooms. I'm like, why? Why? Because schools are like that. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Okay, I think that's all the walls. No? Oh. <laughs> I... Shut up. It's fine. <laughs> See, this is fun. We we're painting. Oh now if only if it was this easy to paint in real life. Oh god, if only. It's actually funny, uh my English teacher offered extra credit for those who volunteered to paint the room. I didn't need the extra credit and I volunteered. Uh there might be a strip of uh black above the bed. See? Yep, got it. And I imagine you'll probably have to like no, actually no. Guess you're uh, getting close to painting everything. There you go. Okay. But unfortunately, that main trick's still gonna take that picture off the wall. I'm sad. <laughs> that was a nice picture, though. I mean, it doesn't really go with the room now, since. Yeah, Steve McQueen smoking. I doubt that's Steve McQueen, but. Or David Bowie, or whatever these kids are into these days. Okay. Horror show number two. Yeah, that's to be expected. In college. Use the fire button when dealing with the bottles, cat. <laughs> okay, let's see. Did, did, God! Okay, I'm sorry, college. You cause alcoholism, I swear. Even I didn't have this ma I don't even have this many bottles of alcohol in my own home. I don't. Well, I technically do, because my father used to work for a uh, distillery, but we don't drink them. We just keep them for collectibles. Yeah, it's like, it's actually kind of weird. One time I was like, I want Skull Vodka. They're like, that's $40 vodka. I'm like, but the bottle looks awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Crystal Skull Vodka. Oh, yeah. It, it, have you actually, have you have you looked into, like, what that supposedly was, uh, You mean, did I know? watch the JonTron video about it? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Yes, don't forget, it's been, uh, liquor that's been filtered through Herkimer diamonds. <laughs> Which aren't even real diamonds, they're quartz. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Be right back again, need to go check on my spaghetti. Okay. Again, sorry about that. It's okay, why is it I always message you when, my, when spaghetti's being cooked? I don't know. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, let's see. In the window, mount devices. Good, I got a skill point. Squeaky. 
Nice. Okay. Race itself. Okay, that's not that bad. And I'm back. And welcome to the dirt. <laughs> the dirty dirt. Dirt. Filthy. Filthy. Unclean. Unclean. Also, I, I just gotta say this. I'm amused the fact that for your stream, you have it listed as English Casual Play Simulation and an LGBTQIA uh, and friendly. It's like, yes, because I'm sure this is the game that's, you know, going to be someone's coming out story. You never know. <laughs> Listen, I'm, no, still, I'm still annoyed that they don't have... Because that tag is technically for, you know, other... If there are people who are LGBTQ, etc. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you want to watch people who are LGBTQ, etc. You know, it's a support system. There is one that people keep trying to campaign for for disabled gamers, which I am totally 100% for. But Twitch was like, no, because they were like, they said they were afraid that it would cause trolling and, a, you know, mean stuff, if you will. And I sit here going, are that, I say, I bet 10 bucks says they're thinking that people are going to abuse it. And then there are going to be people who are very rude because, you know, there's the invisible illnesses. Hi, I have those. To be fair, I can understand Twitch's concern, considering the fact that, you know, any system that exists, there will be people who will abuse it. Yeah, uh -huh. because, you know, it's a little funny, because the LGBTQ one, the description is, for anyone on LGBTQ+, or an ally, I'm like, aha! Yes, I need to, uh, you know, I need to raise my, uh, my status bar with the LGBTQ. <laughs> yes, I must become popular. I just yeah. I didn't know I had that thing under simu simulation. Oh, I must have put it under simulation when I said I was playing House Flipper. More than likely, yes. Yes. I mean, this is a simulation because dirt magically woes away just like this. It just fades away. Oh god, if dirt faded away when you cleaned, I would have be the happiest girl on the planet. <laughs> Let's see. I need to mount a washer and a radio a washer. I guess in the corner, though, I think this bathroom is way too small for that. Yeah, you're not the only one who thinks that. I'm like, who puts the washer in the bathroom? Ours is in the utility room. Also, I'd like to say that that is a very nice uh, shower for, you know. College. Yep. I mean, it's better than what some dorms have, which is basically gym showers. Also, why would you want the radiator that close to the toilet? You'd burn like, your leg off if you accidentally fell asleep while pooping. Yeah, like ser seriously, look how look how like close it is to the toilet. It just seems like why? It's so dangerous. So I'm gonna be nice and just put it a little bit away from the toilet so your leg doesn't accidentally hit the freaking radiator and you have to explain to the doctor why you have four third degree burns on your legs. Eh, most likely would be first degree. Second most. Mm -hmm. You're not that you don't sleep that hard on the toilet. I mean... Although, there are some people who've passed out on the toilet. Uh, have, have you say, ever seen uh, the Drew Carey show? Yes. Uh, he was the third Carey to die on the toilet. I thought he died in his sleep. He did. Okay, hold on. Okay, why won't you let me install this? Oh, because there's a pipe right... Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa puff. Are uh, you sure that it's... That's the best location, considering, you It's know. where the pipe is. Oh. This is a very terribly laid out friggin' place, then. Yeah, the problem is I have to... Okay. Go to the spot! I need to unscrew the pipe cap. Hey, cat! Maybe you should unscrew the pipe cap! You can tell how many washers I've installed in my life. It's fine. Which is funny, because my mom installed the new dryer. <laughs> Well, like, yeah, like, well, seriously, why do they have it so close to the toilet? Like, Why isn't there a dryer? Listen, I've lived a whole six months without a dryer. I hated every minute of it. I hated hanging my clothes. But yeah, why is it so close to the toilet? Yeah, like, you're gonna be smushed between the radiator and the toy and the fucking washer. There. Or, uh, true. Dude, there's not even yeah. enough room for the sink. Look, look how little room there is between sink and... <laughs> Maybe it will assemble differently. What am I doing? 
Who's in some- Audience, who of you guys have wa done installed washers? What the hell am I doing? Yeah, see our audience of just me. Well, it's gonna go on YouTube when I'm done. <laughs> well, actually, it will go on to YouTube on November 1st because the Halloween special. I played yeah. Dead Space. I did face cam and everything. Zero oh, reaction. No. It's Dead Space. It's not that terrifying after no, a while. It's very... It's very early 2000s horror movie where it's just, like, loud music, jump scare, which is what bad horror movies are doing again now. Especially mm -hmm. the Conjuring series. Cough, cough! Anyway, I need to go get Check my spaghetti because it should be done. Yep. It should be done now, so. Should be. Get back. Yep. Okay, now there's more room. Where's the dirt? Dirt, 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 dirt. Uh, 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 uh. Clean the dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. I am back, and I have spaghetti and shaker cheese. Yummy! This video not yep. sponsored by shaker cheese. <laughs> also, look at this ugly rug. Look at it! Yes, 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 ugly rug. <laughs> yeah. Looks like the rug's got stains on it, to be honest. I cleaned it. I don't think it helped. Mm, it didn't. God, it reminds me of my Aunt Catherine's bathroom. She had a pink bathroom. So pink. Had a pink toilet seat, fr fuzzy toilet seat. Had the pink cushioning on it that you have on the toilet seat. Which is not a thing that's commonly done anymore, thank God. Okay, let's see. We need to clean the dirt. I got all the dirt. What dirt? This place is shiny. It's cleaner apparently than my... Not sh apparently it's not shiny enough. Dirt? No dirt. I'll center that for you, though. <clears throat> Okay, we have to install a sink and a towel radiator. Oh, look at these fancy people. They got a towel radiator. Fancy. Fancy, fancy. What kind of sink do they want? They want this one. They want mountable. AKA, we're cheapskates. I mean, they're college students. They're probably eating ramen for mm, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yummy. How else do you think they can afford beer all the time? Please, they're buying cheap beer. <laughs> Pretty much. 
Okay, so they want the cheap-ass mountable sink. But hey, at least they don't have to have their, you know, suspicious friend with an ID uh, get it for them anymore. This is exciting. Look at this sexy content. Too hot for Twitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is me bored. Whee! This is exactly how you install a sink. 100% accurate. Uh... Well, you just keep clicking uh, at random things and... Yep. <laughs> totally accurate. There's a reason why Handyman right now, my assembly is up at the... Is trying to... I'm basically focusing on assembly instead of every anything else because... Oh, boy! And also, I kind of sort of put it on just... Because you can set it to realistic installing and mm -hmm. it doesn't give you hints on how to do it. And you basically have to figure it out on your own. And I'm like, ah, uh, no. So you're lazy. Got it. Gotcha. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Da, da, da. Da, da. A towel? I've never seen a towel radiator. And also, I think it's like a... Is it wrong I would worry this is like a semi-fire hazard? Mm-hmm. Like, doesn't seem safe. It doesn't seem... It, this is definitely something that northerners do, because I don't. Mm. Fresh, warm towels. Lay your face on that. Have a nice grill face. I don't know, I don't think I'd ever use it. Even if I didn't live in Florida, because I'd just be too concerned it'd be a fire hazard. Yeah. I mean, maybe you could, like, use it while you're showering, so, you know. Yep, yep. Mmm, delicious spaghetti-eating ASMR, everyone. Should I tag huh. this with ASMR now? <laughs> because <of> your spaghetti. No. <laughs> the weirdos will be coming. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Is this a futon? Yes, it's a futon. Hello, futon. What did you do on the bed? Okay, let's see. Uh, dispose. They want a radiator right by the bed? Oh, that's a fire hazard. I think that's illegal in many countries. I was actually looking up uh, how towel warmers do work. Interesting. It warms the towel. You can do the same thing with an oven and or, and or a microwave. <laughs> okay. okay. Shift. Da -da. I'm adjusting the bed. There. Please, do not adjust your set. Oh, got to clean here. What is this green stuff? What is the brown stuff? I don't want to know. I don't Probably wanna. old. Someone get the alcohol. Squeegee. Squeegee. I'm, uh, I'm not sure getting the mold and such drunk is going to help problems here. I meant the good alcohol. You know, <laughs> the fancy, not the fancy stuff. Clean the window. What? Oh, that window. Hi, window. You think that's more of a Windows 98 or a Windows 95? Eh, Windows XP. Ah. Or no, hey. no, no, wait. It's a Windows Vista. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, Windows XP was actually pretty decent. Yeah. No, Vista, because isn't Vista also a term for a window? Yeah, something like that. Oh, good. It's sunsetting over here. Wait, hold on. Is there a way I can... No. Options. Settings. Do, 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 do. I'm, I'm trying to find something. Display broken glass instead of cockroach. I would never have Day night mode. Uh, just, just, just stick to real time. Assembly mode. Easy. There we go. Continue. I basically- I don't like the day-night cycle. Day-night cycles bother me when I'm doing simulations. Okay, what else am I doing? Oh, we're done with this one. Alright. 
This one. I did this one. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, I see where the parties happened. And thank goodness I set the broken glass to... I, I made the cockroaches broken glass. For <laughs> very obvious, I don't want to think about Florida reasons. <laughs> God, this is so much alcohol! Mm-hmm. They must have had one hell of a party. This was a rager! Mm-hmm. A kegger, if you will. Yes. Wait, where's the keg? Oh, right. They didn't need it with that much alcohol. Let's see. Most of those look like wine bottles. I'm like, dude, keggers don't have wine. Unless you're at one of those fancy schmancy ones, which they call it a wine tasting reality. They just want to drink wine. Clearly, that just means that uh, they may be French. Or... We. Oui. Or Italian. Italians love wine. Trust me. Yeah. I make, I'm playing Final Fantasy XV, and Alticia is basically Venice. It's basically Venice. Fantasy Venice. And there's a lot of wine talk, and I'm like, I get it. Italians like wine. We get it. <laughs> it's like you could not be any more stereotype if you started talking about spaghetti and uh, your love of meatballs. Meatball, meatball, meatball. No, but it was like... Like, you travel around on gondola... Uh, to different parts of the city, which is really fun, and it, like this takes for and people are like it takes forever to go travel. I'm like this is fun. Okay, let's kill all the cockroaches. I mean, broken glass. That's not how you hold a vacuum cleaner. You know, this seems less like a simulator and more well, more like less like a house simulator, and more like you're just being their mother. <laughs> Well, if I remember correctly, Grimm said, and I quote, he called it Mexican Simulator. He's from Mexico. He's allowed to say these. Because, you know, the rich white people hiring cheap labor to clean the house. Who could have foreseen this? Oh, yes. Ugh. I mean, the actual house flipping is actually really fun, but the problem is you need to get the skills for house flipping. And to do the skills for house flipping, we basically have to clean everything. Yeah, but it's a misnomer considering how often you actually flip the whole house. I mean, it just seems like, you know... You're meaning literally flipping, aren't you? Yes, yes I do. <laughs> I mean, that'd be one way to clean everything up. Just flip the house to the side and start shaking it. Shake, 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 shake. Clean now! <laughs> Pretty much. But our furniture! It's clean now! <laughs> Hi, Mom. I forgot I had medicine at, at Publix, so I need to go back. I'm, we're going back and get that. Can you get me soda? Later. Gotcha. Need caffeine. Drinking coffee only does so much. <laughs> Please. Now, uh, at Winn-Dixie right now, they had uh, Coke products for uh, 99 cents each, so I got uh, three Sprite bottles and uh, a thing of lemonade. Yeah. Unclean. There's an unclean spot in the other room. Okay. I feel like a little gremlin now. Clean. Clean. Dirt. 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 Dirt gun. Mine. 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 Dirt. Dirt. <laughs> Class, this is dirt. 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 Why can't it just assemble for me? You know, just one and done. No, we gotta get the simulation of Thank you. Because it wants to annoy you and also because simulator. True. Yes. Uh, clean the window. What window? 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 Window! Scrape. 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 Ah, uh, Twitter. What's Twitter doing? No, oh, just its usual Twitter things. Oh. I kind of have been semi-avoiding Twitter right now because of all the political crap. I mean, you can't really avoid that. Well, I know, but it's just like one less place to see the political stuff. I mean, like, 
yeah, you can't really avoid the political stuff, to be honest. Like, I, I mean, hell, even in a fandom, you can't. Like, would you believe me if I told you that uh, the MLP fandom right now is actually ha having an issue with alt right and Nazis? No, see, I can believe that because of uh, because of the MLP fandom, at knowing it's mostly a bunch of older men. No offense. <laughs> I mean, I'm not that old. I'm not right. quite 30 yet. Mm. I say a few months from now. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, uh, cries in 30 year old. Okay, so. Clean. You're not old. You're aged. Mm. I, I age like fine wine. I mean, it could be worse. You could age like milk. True. This place needs a lot of radiators. Just get central heating, dude. Dirt, 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 dirt. Eh. Eh. Okay. Hands. Okay, you need a radiator here. Assemble. See, look, this house looks great now. It doesn't look like a crack den. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I've seen it that. Just looks, it looks like a very fancy crack den. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I've seen crack dens look better than this. Okay. Oh, that's where you mount a TV. I know those. I know those cable plugs. What am I missing? <clears throat> Windows. Da, 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 da. Window. This Is brings it? you one step closer to being able to clean windows in real life. <laughs> oh, yes. Watch the windows, daniel son. It will help you become great karate master. I don't wanna... Okay, where to next? Also, apparently everyone on Twitter is freaking out about the fact that Darkwing Duck is gonna be in the next episode of Tales, uh, DuckTales. Yeah, well, Darkwing Duck is awesome! Oh, I didn't say it wasn't, I just, I'm just amused. Yeah, well, I, Darkwing Duck was really loved back then. The dark. I think Darkwing Duck was actually more popular than Ducktales when it, you know, the first incarnation. I still think it's just interesting the fact they have David Tennant doing a uh, Scrooge. I love it. It's like, oh my god, it's so perfect. He's finally acting with a Scottish accent. He's most likely done it in other shows, but it's like. <laughs> mm hmm. <sighs> So, so the newest uh, meme is basically a picture of the Pope holding something up. Yes. I've seen it. It's funny. <laughs> Baby Yoda is my favorite one. <laughs> um, well, not just Baby Yoda. Uh, the one holding the N64 controller was pretty funny. The... Uh, okay, let's see. What should we do? See, see's most... Aha! Uh, let's go faster cleaning. Because I like faster cleaning. Clean quickly. Clean. Scrap, 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 scrap. Uh, I need to mount a device. Yep. Yep. Well, at least it's a nice, wholesome meme. Right? Ark? I mean, okay. sure. No, I'm here. Okay, sorry. It's just like silence in my brain went, oh crap, did my internet do that thing again that I hate? Dirt. God. Does no one know how to clean a window around here? Seriously. Isn't that your job? Shut up. <laughs> Seriously, kids. Newspaper and vinegar. Cleans a window very easily and no streaks. Yeah. 
dirt. 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 Eh, yeah, 98, it's still an A, right? Mm-hmm. Clean dirt? I've only gotten 60% of the dirt here? What? 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 I I'm just, I'm just gonna say, like, hashtag make home act uh, mandatory. <laughs> Come on. It's, I, I think that school should not, instead of teaching some of the more useless things. I mean. They should have, like, a, this is life skills. Here's how to fill a tax form. <laughs> No, yeah, not, not just that, but it's just, like, some basic home ec stuff, like, how, like, there are actually colleges that are offering, like, how to use a washer, how to fold laundry, stuff like that. I like the, uh, uh, the YouTube channel Dad Can I, where it's basically mm -hmm. a dad teaching these dad skills to kids who did not have a dad teaching these skills, mm -hmm. and it's adorable, mm -hmm. like, Dad, how do I, Dad, how do I tie a tie? Dad, how do I install a, uh, install a garbage disposal? And the guy is Really nice and wholesome. Mm -hmm. The kitchenette should be in the living room. Dude, no, the kitchenette does not belong in the living room. The kitchenette belongs in the kitchenette. Uh, I was going to say, isn't, you know, kitchenette for kitchens? Because it's literally right there. Dirt. There's the dirt. 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 Also, yes, you can tell this is a... Uh, this is a college dorm. The uh, the room looks like crap, but uh, they have a very nice looking laptop. This is my house. Ah. This is well, technically my character's house, not actually my house. Please. <laughs> actually, I think this is actually slightly bigger than my bedroom. I will. Uh, I will repeat what I said. You could tell this is a college student because they have a crappy house and a nice uh, laptop. Radiators. I will pay you if I am fully satisfied, or you will get nothing. Yep, this sounds oh, like. A oh, also, oh, I'm concerned the fact that the inhabitable bunker has a radiation symbol next to it. Oh, it's because it's part of the. Uh, uh, there's a uh, DLC which uh, involves radiate, uh, which involves uh, post-apocalypse stuff. Fun. You want me to do that one, don't right now? <laughs> uh, let's Why see. not? Let's just do the radiator one real quick because it's like. And I like this. It's like, if I am not satisfied, you will not get paid. I'm like, dude. I've dealt with assholes like that. <laughs> Alright, we just gotta install radiators? No problema. Radiator, radiator. Radiator. Mount devices. This is easy. No brain required. Except I have to assemble everything. Uh... Uh, by the way, I like the fact that that uh, little hint had uh, every house, or some houses have a secret. I'm just like, I don't know if I want to actually find the secrets in these houses, because that sounds terrifying. I think if I remember correctly, there is one house that has a hidden wall. Now that's pretty cool. And I think there's another one, which is a Halloween-based one. Like, you're trying to work on the house, and, like, there's haunted crap happening while you're working. Nice. Garden, like... no garden gnomes are freaking staring at you and following you. Ah, so, uh, the Sims garden gnomes. Got it. Get you. It's like, it's like, so what's the secret of this house? Uh, just be advised, don't look under the bed. Mm -hmm. Why? Just don't look under the bed. Just don't look under the bed. Also, don't open the closet, you'll kill yourself. Okay, let's see... Higher payment! One, more money. Money's nice. Um, let's see, this place needs a sink and a towel radiator. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. 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 Whee! This is what you'd get when you do really fast assembly. So apparently, um, just topical news, considering, uh, apparently Donald Trump Jr. is saying that his dad's next move is to break up the FBI. Por qué? I mean, good luck with that. Okay, rephrasal. Nani? <laughs> I'm uh I'm not certain that he has the power to do that. I don't think he does. I don't know. I'm not I'm not an expert when it comes to the FBI. Well, not that, but I don't think the president has that kind of power. All I know is that back in the day, the FBI used to have this whole thing where 
they would watch movies that may be starring secret agents and approve or unapprove them. Like that movie, That Darn Cat, is actually unapproved by the FBI because it makes the F because the FBI agent is a bumbling idiot. I mean, it's not like it isn't a trope at this point. True point. Why can't I assemble this? Oh, because I was clicking in the wrong spot. Yeah. Nice shower. From this shower, I shall uh, start tweeting shower thoughts. <laughs> shower thoughts was fun, but now shower thoughts gets a little too annoying to me. Is it because it gets too real for you? No, it starts talking about stuff that's completely stupid. Oh. Such as? Oh, it was... I can't remember some of them. I like fl I love flowers, unlike people. You and me both, lady. Actually, I like animals more than people, but... Mm-hmm. Animals don't judge. <laughs> I mean, neither do flowers. Yeah. Let's see. Mm, let's let's do some gardening. I haven't been home in a while. It's got. Oh God. Ah, from shower thoughts. Ninety percent of being an adult is keeping your screaming on the inside. I was like that as a teenager as well. <laughs> I didn't scream. I was like, I'd love to have a decent swimming pool in the garden. Please place it near the terrace. Oh my god. Oh, at least we're doing gardening now. <laughs> I had to do landscaping for years, so. You get to judge how we, how accurate this is. <laughs> All right. I mean, to be fair, it's, it's a case of, you know, we just put them in at the owner's request. New tool available. All right. We're mowing the lawn. Oh, good. We. This is exciting. Why don't you have a riding lawnmower? Those are awesome. As uh, as someone who used to uh, do this, you're uh, you're already triggering me. Oh, I'm sorry. You've got no you've got no pattern going on here. I know. It's annoying, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I need a <clears throat> weed whacker. Or one of those edge mowers. Oh! Oh, there's a speed on this thing? Oh, sounds about right. Okay, hold on. Let's max it! Or not. Where'd my lawnmower go? Okay, so... Alright. So, place... Let's see what the max speed is like! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Woo! See, if you do it at max speed, it's exciting. I'm more concerned as to why the uh, the trees seem ethereal. Because trees are ethereal now. We're in the Feywild, didn't you know that? <laughs> Again, your uh, your lack of like any kind of cohesion when mowing bugs the crap out of me. If it makes you feel better, it's very hard to control this thing. It's like driving a boat. <laughs> it's literally like driving a boat. As you know, the boat driving in freaking Final Fantasy is easier than this. I should know. I drove the boat. Boats! Eee. Did you name it Boaty McBoatface? No, it's named after. It's already named, if I remember correctly. Disappoint. Hey, listen, it's the royal boat of the king of blah 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 something something. I was too busy looking at Gladio's abs. <laughs> and then Ignis's face. For anyway. shame, for shame. Listen, those were my two reasons to start playing Final Fantasy XV, okay? They're two very logical and good reasons. And the story is actually very good. When I actually uh -huh. do the when I actually do the story quest, I've been doing side quests. I am basically pulling teeth now according to some people. Uh which Final Fantasy game was this again? 15. 
it has is that a, the one that's more modern day or yeah it's the more oh, it's the latest one 16's coming out sooner or later but uh it's which, the... which, which by the way i've got to say uh there is a level of just bizarreness to think the idea that a game called final fantasy would ever go modern well i think it's well they called it final fantasy because this was going to be the final game yeah the no no made. no no i knew why it was called final fantasy like i understand that I'm just saying, like, I, I know at this point Final Fantasy has become uh, just a, you know, a recognized name. Yeah. Also, if I remember correctly, they wanted to try, they've been doing modern fantasy a lot, and this uh, Final Fantasy 15, they decided to try to go more realistic, fant realistic modern fantasy, if you will. I'm, I'm air quoting right now. <laughs> I believe that is what we know as urban fantasy. Yeah, they're, and I like when people do urban and modern fantasy when done well. And I think they're doing, I think it's well, but now Final Fantasy 16, I've seen the trailer, it reminds me too much of Game of Thrones, I'm not interested. I mean, I, like, I've played Final Fantasy 1, I've played Final Fantasy 2, well, uh, yeah, I've played Final Fantasy 2, I've played Final Fantasy 4, i played 5, 6, seven. not 7. Oh, no, you seven. missed 7, which is quote unquote, unquote one of the best ones. Well, I more or less played the earlier ones because they were more generic and, like, with Final Fantasy 1, you can create your own party and such. Yeah. So, big draw for me. Yeah, apparently Final Fantasy 16, they're going more more fantasy now. They're going dark fantasy, and I'm like, Ugh. Because dark fantasy usually me is usually because... Game of Thrones, and I'm not the hugest Game of Thrones fan. Well, I'm not a fan of... Game of Thrones copycats. Let's rephrase that. I just couldn't get into Game of Thrones. Like, I, nothing against the series. It's just, it didn't appeal to me. I can't read the books. Uh, context. Due to how my brain is wired. Because they ch because George R. R. Martin changes perspective of character as well as move halfway across the planet and gives no real indication of it, in my br according to me, I just kept getting confused constantly. Like, we're here. Why are we on the other side of the continent now? What's going on? And I kept getting confused. I'm like, if he put, like, at the beginning of each chapter, okay, this person's perspective, we are here now, I would be fine. But he doesn't do that. And I remember explaining that to one guy, and he told me I'm too stupid to understand the greatness that is uh, Game of Thrones. I'm like, and that's why we're not dating. <laughs> well, no. I think it was during speed dating he said that. Because he mentioned he liked Game of Thrones, and I made a eh face. Mm -hmm. Which I didn't know I was making an eh face. I thought I was making it in the inside. And then he asked, what? asked me why I didn't like Game of Thrones, and I go, it's not that I don't like Game of Thrones, it's just I can't, I, I have no real opinion on it because I can't read the books. And he thought, like, what, you can't read or something? Like, and then I basically gave the explanation, and he said, well, that means your brain is too small and you don't understand, you know, you're not smart enough to understand the complexity that is Game of Thrones. I'm like, it's not complexity, dude, it's the guy doesn't tell you when the freaking perspectives change. Mm -hmm. Which is bad writing. I mean, it's just more or less just how he writes. I don't know if I'd necessarily call it bad writing because it's writing is much like art. It's subjective to some degree. Like, yeah. obviously, there are methods and such. Yeah. I mean, I say as someone who enjoys uh, writing every now and then, mm -hmm. even though I'm very slow at writing. Like, I just finally finished up chapter one of my uh, MLP fanfic <laughs> after like six months. Mm. And it's only like 1,700 words. To my, to be fair, in my defense, it was about 500 words extra. But then when I started editing, I found words I could take out and uh, like descriptions I could remove. So, isn't this fun mowing the lawn as I do it with an inconsistent pattern, which is annoying the crap out of everyone who mows their lawns? Hey, Decker, Again. if you're watching this video, look, I'm mowing the lawn. Suffer. Uh, Decker Shadow, who I do streams with occasionally. Um, he lives in Texas and has like a two acre lawn, if I remember. Uh, it's a couple acres of Fun. lawn, and he has to focus mowing on it. I'm like, dude, just let it grow naturally. You live out in the middle of the boonies. No one will know. Yeah, but you have to be careful because then you start getting, uh, you know, snakes and all the fun stuff like that. He already has duckies and crawfish. Yes, yeah, because uh, snakes are anything compared to a duck or a crawfish. Crawfish is delicious. I mean, shrug. I haven't really eaten it. Okay, I think I've mowed all the lawn. 
I mean, other than the, uh, you know, the occasional spot you missed. Don't talk about the occasional spot I missed. Okay. There's a weed whacker! Yeah. Is it really necessary, though? Oh, good point. It's not necessary. Okay. So, what else do I need to do? Mow the lawn. Done. Ah, I gotta do the pool. Near the terrace. Where the frack is the terrace? Also, my character has really skinny, weird arms. Yeah, that's, uh... Ah. Pool needs to be uh, here. As someone who, uh... Yeah, like... The thing is, is that his arm isn't bending correctly, like, if you look at it. Oh, joy. Uh, okay, so... No, no... Where's pool? And I should be right back, and I need to put my, my stuff up, so... Burp. Okay. Swimming pool mull line. What's a mull line? Oh, Lord. <clears throat> and back. So, you wonder how you install the pool? How? You dig a hole. <laughs> and wait, this is how you fill it. Garden With hose? A garden? <laughs> That's gonna be like garden hose. <laughs> this is how you fill the pool. I, uh, I, I love the black water in it. That just, you know. Also, uh, apparently that is a very powerful gardening hose, considering it could fill a pool that fast. Mm -hmm. That is not a very good pool, by the way. It's the one they ordered. <sighs> I want to slap that person. The house of a real man is no place for child's toys. Let's see. <laughs> Baby on the way. Oh, God, this guy's really happy. My beautiful wife is finally Pergante. Guy is a perky happy dad. Oh god. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but he uh he, he needs to be deflated a bit. Deflated? Your yeah. woman, your wife's vagina is going to rip in half when she bur births. You will never have sex again. <laughs> should, should I not destroy? Should I not ruin the beauty that is birth? Yeah, I'm thinking more along the lines of this is going up on YouTube. <laughs> oh. 
All right. Good point. Welcome to educational facts about birth. See, you mentioned it's educational, then you get away with it. Mm hmm So we have to clean your house and get it ready for a baby. Why is your house a mess? Why? Por qué? Por qué? Why is your house a mess? Don't you? What? Oh, he and his lovely wife have been too busy trying to make baby. They've been doing the woohooing. I mean, it worked for The Sims. God, does it, does it work for The Sims? My simulation me is getting more action than me. I mean, isn't that to be expected? Good point. Eeny, meeny, miny, Ted. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, this is the baby's room. Okay. So if you could read on the side, what color do I have to paint this room? Uh, pastel pink. What is this heteronormative bullshit? Uh, I was thinking more along the lines of, uh, you're gonna have to, you know, pa pastel pink on the pinky pie route. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just like, I, again, my baby room was white because I was, because, again, I, why, why, why? Why? Por qué? I don't want to get into gender politics right now. But I just... I, I never liked baby pink. It's like... It's its wrong. It's weird. See, I've always uh, I've always believed that they need to rename pink as pank. Pank? Yep. Why pank? Because uh, considering there seems to be a negative connotation with the color pink, if we refer to it as pank, it should be fine. It should be. I think it's because a lot of kids, especially kids <laughs> before now um used to if you were a girl you'd get a lot of pink shoved on you like a lot of objects would be available for girls and pink yeah pink aisle though there was a time where it was that pink was actually the boys color yeah because it represented what the because red was usually the manly color and like was a representation of the blood of christ and blue was a representation of the virgin mary if i remember correctly yeah essentially <laughs> well it was also essentially it's just like Red was the, or uh, pink was closer to red, which was the color of passion, and then you had blue, which was like the color of like serenity, devotion, virginity. Calmness. <laughs> that, that's what's virginity. Well, I mean, so, the blue because the Virgin Mary is always depicted in blue. Mm -hmm. Hi, welcome to religion and gender politics and color talk. <laughs> We're going down a lot of interesting routes today. It's like, watch your subscriber base drop. My subscriber base, I think... I, I, I don't know. It might actually gain. Okay, let's see. We've cleaned almost all the dirt. Dirt, dirt. A little dirt is fine. You want your kid to have a good immune system, do you not? Just start shoveling dirt into their mouth. It'll be fine. <laughs> Pastel pink. Oh, we're going to need to buy two of these. Actually, hold on. Yep. Perks. I gained a perk in gardening. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see how bad this pink is. Brace it's yourself. Gonna... I mean, it's probably going to be bright to some degree. It's past... It's it's bubblegum pink almost. <clears throat> the uh, the best pastel. Yes, the I wonder, best. I wonder if there's like all the different kinds of pastels. You've like got pastel pink, pastel blue. Oh, I could show you the paint section in this in the store. Nah, I'm good. Too late. I'm already there. <laughs> Other. Where's the paint? Decorations? No. Walls? Aha. 
Also, I like the fact that in decorations there is a uh, there's a camera. Yeah, that's for the occasional stuff. See, these are all the colors you can get. Ooh, good, there is black. I will make the goth room. Moody cobalt. I wasn't aware that cobalt could be moody. I didn't know either. Did you know? Did I know? Did anyone know? Well, at least it's not Pepto Bismol pink. Yeah. The color that makes you vomit. Or poop. Hashtag, we are not sponsored by Pepto Bismol. <laughs> if we were, that would be interesting. Okay, let's see. I, I, I love, uh,. I'm just amused that I'm on Twitter and it's like one person said uh, retweet if you're older than the Nintendo DS. The Nintendo DS came out November 21st, 2004. I'm older than that. I was in high school when the DS came out. Or middle yeah, school. Same. No, wait, November, I mean, November 2004? Uh, yep. I would have been 14, which means I would have been in 8th grade. Mm -hmm. So I would have been in middle school. Retweet if you're older than the N64. I remember there was one tweet that was floating around that was basically, hey, retweet, uh, what, you know, was going, like, when did you start getting into gaming? And everyone was pointing out, like, the NES wasn't on there, the SNES wasn't on there, the Amiga wasn't on there. It was just like, I think if I remember correctly, it started with N64 and went from game consoles from there. And I'm like, well, what about the what about the SNES? The SNES is awesome. That was my first game console. Uh, my first game console, if you don't count handheld, which was the classic Game Boy, uh, my first console was a uh, N64. Okay, uh, that that go away now. Because that's empty. That's the that's the broom. You don't paint with the broom. Oh no, I'm being invaded by a cat. Meow. Go Not my you. Oh, I meant the go my little fluffy ninja. Steal his Different pasta. Cat. Steal his steal the delicious pasta. Well, it's pink. I'm going to assume that this is supposed to be the baby's room. It better be the baby's room. Because, you know, clearly this is the color you want to see all around you. Yes, as a baby. Although there is that whole theory that black and white is actually better for the baby's mental stimulation. I mean, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a baby scientist. Hi, I'm Kat. I am a baby scientist. How are you? Yeah. Boink. Okay, now we need to buy... Wait, where am I missing pastel pink? Where? 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 It's, it's pink everywhere. No. 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 I know I painted behind that thing. I shouldn't sell this. I painted there. Um, okay, so we need to buy things. Uh, a crib. That is a very expensive crib. I mean, hey mom, how old? How much was my crib when I was a baby? <laughs> Just buy this one. Put the crib near the radiator, because that's safe. <laughs> Alright. I need a bookcase call. I, I don't know what a bookcase call is. Oops. Okay. There. A baby changing station. Uh, 
<laughs> that's terrible. What? Uh, you know one of those uh, singing uh, Santas in uh, those singing mechanical Santas. Yes. A uh, a little girl is like holding that Santa's hand when it, his head falls off. <laughs> well, now <laughs> well, we're gonna have not... to now we're gonna have to buy freaking therapy for little Susie. Beanbag chairs. Who are these beanbag chairs for? It, where's the rocking chair for mom to sit in? Yeah, what what is with the beanbag chair? That makes no sense. I mean, I guess it might. I don't know. It just seems weird. Yeah, because there should be. If this is the baby's room, there should be like a rocking chair for the mom to sit in, so she can do the boob feeding and the other thing and the what's and not. So, but there isn't, and it disturbs me. Okay, let's see. We need to go into the next room. Let's just go into the bathroom. Ugh. How do you live like this? And here's the sink where the creepy fetus from freaking Silent Hills would be. And now it's gone. Also, square toilet. Squeegee time. Squeegee, squeegee. And now I have a cat on my lap. Yay, lap cat. Also, it is only one o'clock and I feel sleepy. I blame the Dutch. I, blame <laughs> I don't know who you blaming. I, I, I wasn't going to blame anyone. No. Oh, God. I'm not saying I live in a spotless home, but come on. I guess they've been too busy doing the baby Lamas classes. And baby yoga and... What other weird baby things that upper middle class freaking white people do? I believe at this point you just need to, you know, <clears throat> just condemn the house. Condemning? No, we would have condemned the college students' houses more than this. This is... A little dirt isn't going to kill you. You need to improve your immune system. That's what we did back in the day. I mean... Considering the fact that they still had things like you know, smallpox and okay. chicken pox, measles. Yeah, valid point and shingles. You get that when you're older. Uh, actually, I know a friend who has uh, who got shingles when she was younger. Aww. Problem is, is that what's the problem with shingles is the fact that uh, even if it goes away, it will inevitably flare back up. Yep. Dirty. And she has it on her back. So apparently there's a mental disorder that causes the sufferer to compulsively make inappropriate jokes or puns and tell pointless stories. That's not a disease, that's just a personality trait. Well, apparently there's a mental disorder for that, so... What's the mental disorder? Uh, wit... God, it's in German, so I'm, I'm not exactly, like, good at pronouncing it. Ah, oh, the Germans, they have a word for everything. God bless the Witzel Germans. Witzelschutz? I believe that's how you pronounce it, Witzelschutz? I've probably offended some German person out there. Ah, uh, yes, the one German fan I have. I was gonna say, God bless the Germans, except for that one time. <laughs> Let's see, I think this is the kitchen. Clean the dirt. Clean the dirt. 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 Dirt, 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 dirt. I'm sounding like some weird little animal who's just going after the dirt. 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 
Mine, 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 dirt. mine, mine. Dirt, 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 dirt. Dirt gun. And now I gotta clean the windows. What are you? I, I, I. I you think I am a maid. I think I am a maid service now. This isn't house flipping. This is maid servicing. <laughs> Housekeeping. I mean, to be fair, I guess there is limitations. Like, when did this game come out? I don't remember. I know it's technically still in beta because they're still updating things. I mean, it can take some games how long to get out of beta. I mean, mm. And some games never leave beta. Pretty much. Some games never leave alpha. Also true. We need more gamma games. <laughs> I mean, personally, I think uh, the release version should be called Omega. True. Unless it has DLC. And it will almost always have DLC. Oh, we can't is. escape it. Can't escape. Can't escape the DLC. Can't escape it. At least it's no. At least we're not having as bad. Do we still have really bad exclusive DLC bullshit? Which usually nine times out of ten, it's just a cosmetic thing. Um. Yeah. Like, have you actually looked up the Demon Souls remake? Nope. Yeah. So that has some pretty bad. Uh, some pretty. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say bad, but some pretty. Uh, pretty annoying uh, pre-order DLC and stuff like that. I think I'm just gonna be constantly getting things. Let's see, how much is the cheapest house? Oh, I already technically own this house. I just have to work on it. You like to work it, work it? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I still don't have tiling, which is the thing. I need tiling. Because um, if you can see here, I do not have that or that, which I think is tiling. So let's find a job that involves tiling. Yes, because apparently you need to get a job in order to learn about dialing. Logic. Logic. Alright, let's help this lady. I love how they're just giving me a sob story. I'm like, dude, I'll just do it. Shut up. Come on. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, some more people talking about how uh, coronavirus doesn't exist, but it's all 5G. I will point out the stupidity later. Alrighty. So what am I supposed to do? Sell objects! Alright, let's sell some shit. Apparently this one guy who was claiming it's all a uh, 5G hoax, he sells uh, Ozone fans. Oh, that's nice. Aren't Ozone fans bullshit? <laughs> he was willing to sell them for, you know, $900 a pop. Alright. Build wall. Alright, I'm gonna build a wall now. Wall building. Okay, let's see. Done. Alright, I have to hold it as they build the wall. Isn't this exciting? The wall building? <laughs> Wall, 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 wall. And one more. It's voila. <laughs> okay, so here we need to. Oh, we're not actually painting this room. That's nice. 
a chair Ellen. I don't know who Ellen is, but I'm buying a chair for him. Garage shelf, two of them. Doink and doink. And a standard desk. I'm going to be nice and give you a dark wood because dark woods are nice. Doink. Okay. There we go. All right. So we need to buy a washer. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is there a place to put this thing? Oh, wait, hold on. Let's just unscrew everything. Why are the washers in the bathroom? In Ugh. Okay. So we need a sink. Mountable sink by now. Assemble. Sink. Done. Washer. Let that, maybe you should let that sink in. I think you might have that German disease. <laughs> no, I just like puns. This so makes sense in my brain. Bathtub. The bathtub is right beside the bat. It is right beside the. I don't question it. I just accept it. Just accept your job, cat. You're not the one building the place. Uh. What? I'm uh, just looking at Twitter stuff. Anything exciting happen? I mean, it's standard it's... Twitter fare. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I've always hated the Pepe meme. We all... I've hated the Pepe meme. The thing the thing is, is that you're technically not actually allowed to use it, because the thing is, the owner of Pepe won a lawsuit, so he does actually have uh, copyright over the Pepe frog. Yeah, well, that was because a lot of alt-right and Nazis were starting to use Pepe. It's actually more because of 4chan's use of Pepe. That too. But either way, it's... I'm just amused by it. I am amused. You want the mountable shower? by now. Oh lord, this thing's massive. Welcome to Ikea Simulator! I you know, <laughs> Ikea Simulator involves the furniture. Last time I checked, there isn't an Ikea shower. You're about to look up to see if there's an Ikea shower, aren't you? Uh, I mean, it's Ikea, so they probably do have one. They have meatballs. I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm just clicking now.
is done. Now I need to buy a rug. Rug, 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 rug. Rug. And give you a rug. Gonna be a rug rat. I face palmed. <laughs> Everything's done. Complete the job. Yes. Ten thousand bucks to do all that. Oof. So, so apparently there's a uh, conspiracy theory that's uh, where JFK Jr. is going to be announced as President Trump's running mate for 2020. Uh, I question that. I mean, you don't question a lot of things? I question everything. I question you. I mean, good. Question the man. Yeah. We're cleaning a house again. Because we hate ourselves. So, you know, business as usual then? Oh my god! It's a mess! Cracked in! Cracked in! Also, do you want to feel slightly accomplished? Why? You've been streaming for an hour and a almost an hour and a half. Yeah. That's nice. I mean. I, I... Beats the bad movies we've watched. Oh god, those bad, horrible. Ugh. Uh oh, you've died. What do you mean? I've died. You uh, he died there for a second. I know. Yep. Alt tab. It caught back up though. It caught oh. back up. All right. Your your internet died for a moment there. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. What was I doing? Cleaning. Kill the cockroaches. I mean glass. Broken glass. I like the fact that Trump is apparently threatening to fire the Florida governor if he loses the state. He doesn't have the power to do that, does he? No, he doesn't. Okay. Just want a confirmation. Okay, it says I need to fix something. Oh, 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 I see the thing I need to fix. Dirt, dirt. <laughs> How is this place so filthy? Because people live here. I just get I just face palmed again. Turning into a weird little gremlin. There's a basement. There's a basement. I have concerns. What? That there's a basement? No, there's a video because. I'm just scrolling through Twitter, and apparently this person has a video series called uh, Feminism is Why Women Won't Date Me, and it's part two of 19. There's 19 videos? <laughs> the, the second part is 24 minutes long. I, 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 I,
You know, maybe, dude, the reason why people won't, why women won't date you is because you got a crap personality and you decided to waste your time on making a 19-part video. Says well, it's also probably not help. It's probably not helped by the fact that he's growing a Hitler stash and has the uh, flag of the uh, SPQR in the back. That might be the other reason. Girls have better taste. Scrub, 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 scrubbing, keep scrubbing. Oh, and also this person's a Holocaust denier, so. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's actually a very, very good reason why. Right there, right there. You want me to... <laughs> Trump says he may leave the U.S. if Biden wins. Oh, no. Is that true? Because we don't want him. Okay, that's done. Wait, dirt. Where's the dirt? Dirt. 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 Screw it. It's ninety nine percent. It's fine. Why would he leave the U.S. if he doesn't win? I think the man's going senile. Like he's like what seventy something. Mm -hmm. Dirt. Dirt. Also, I like the fact that uh, apparently there was a leak about uh, Joe Biden and his uh, son Hunter, who was is an addict, or at least was an addict, who you know went to rehab. Good for him. But the thing is, is that like it was basically him telling his son he was proud of him that he was you know getting help and such. Like <laughs> seriously, this is like a bombshell. Yeah, I was about to say that's not a bombshell. That just shows he's a good dad and cares. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it's like exclusive dirt Joe Biden loves and has not given up on his troubled son. We're so proud of him. Go over there. Isn't this exciting? I'm screwing. Jeez. What? Bad joke? Uh, apparently this... No, apparently a Republican uh, poll observer in North Carolina was charged with assault Friday morning after he pushed an election worker who was preventing him from entering an early voting center. Why? The thing is, is you. The, the thing is, is that like with the whole poll thing, you actually have to go through a very ex extensive testing and such like that. Like you don't just allow anybody to do that. To be what a, uh, an election worker? Poll observer. Yeah, I observe this poll. It's a flag well, poll for voting. Oh. Okay. Like, cause you you have to be like go through a very rigorous test to do it. You don't just like show up one day. Yeah, it is, like you said, it's very, very complex and hard and complicated and you have to go through a lot. And where is Well, not only that, not only that, but, you know, the whole thing of, like, <clears throat> you have to go through it to make sure you're not going to do anything illegal or mistrust or something like that. Where's the trash? Trash, 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 trash. Oh, this is the trash. Gank. Uh, he needs a new bathroom. Assemble. Can I have an auto assemble button, please? What? Move. There. 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 Instructions not clear. Accidentally teleported to another dimension. <laughs> This is the real life. This is the fantasy. Caught on a landslide. No, no escape from reality. Open your eyes and look up to the skies and see. Mm -hmm. 
rest of Bohemian Rhapsody, we're not going to break out into it. We know how copyright that thing is. Anything by Queen <laughs> is super copyright. Although, apparently, it's actually a good song if you want to test, like, your headphones and such like that, because since they go through all of the pitches through that. Also, one thing I've always found amusing about, uh, amusing about all Queen songs is that they're really more or less two songs in one. Yeah. Because you've got the first half, which is one song, and then you've got the second half, which is its own separate song. And then, like... Yeah, because, like, isn't isn't We Will Rock You and We Are the Champions, like, two songs in one? Uh, I think so, yeah. Because I remember on a official Queen CD that they put them both on the same seat, put them both on the same track. Yeah, Queen songs are good, but also weird. Yeah. Although they actually proved that the Queen song, uh, Having a Good Time, is actually one of the most uplifting songs you can listen to if you're in a bad mood. Sounds about right. Yeah. And now I have this room. Just, just think. You're, uh, you're on your way to eventually be able to clean your own house and fix it up perfectly. Oh please! I still have to do tiling, and I haven't gotten a tiling job yet, which is annoying me. Maybe I should actually read the jobs and not actually just pick one random and think it's gonna have tiling in it. Although I do want to try the uh, post-apocalyptic one. Yes. Oof. What happened? Apparently this person, I, uh, Amy Coney Barrett, uh, under questioning, was unable to name the five freedoms protected by the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. Uh, freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom of pizza. I don't know what the other three are. Was I even right on the first two? Uh, uh I'd have to look it up because I'm I can't remember off the top of my head right now. It's been a I'm a bit sleepy. Since, it's been a while since government class, guys. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. I wish you could update the squeegee. Squee, 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 squee. Give me the mega squeegee. Oh, God. Imagine the mega squeegee. Yeah. I'm always just uh, amused by those where it's like, oh, well, you're wearing a mask here, and then in 2021, you're going to have to wear this. What is it? Um... Basically, apparently, uh, in 2020, you're going to go from wearing a mask to 2021, you're going to become a femboy with the knee-high socks, the uh, garter belt, the cat ears, and then the uwu mask. Uwu, uh, be right back. I have to go to the little girl's room. Uh, okay. Entertain the one audience member. Which is me. Entertain yourself. I can't entertain myself. I'm just looking at Twitter. Uh, fine, be right back. Have fun.
Yeah. Welcome back. back. Hola. Yo. All right. So we still don't have tiling, and I don't know why. It's annoying me. It's because you can't deny. <laughs> so I guess we're just gonna keep going in order. Woo! How do you Work feel? Work your way from top to bottom. I'd rather go bottom to top, but. They do that. Mm -mm. Lazy. <laughs> Trees what am I gonna do with you? Uh, nothing. I don't know. Uh, let's see. We're cutting down trees. Summon your inner Paul Bunyan. <laughs> So having an inner Paul Bunyan would be really interesting because Paul Bunyan was how big again? Uh, big. Yes. Also, I have cookies. Oh, share. They're the uh, the dollar uh, vanilla cream cookies you can get. Oh. Uh, okay. So what trees do I need to cut down? Eh. This place looks very nice. I want to point this out. This this looks nice. Mm -hmm. This is nice. This is pleasing. But you want to cut a tree down? What trees do you want cut down? Uh, oh yeah. Wait, you want to cut down this tree? But dude, you get some perfect shade right here. Look, shade. Ugh. Am I supposed to go around the tree? Uh, possibly. Also, I'm just going to say that uh, cutting down the tree isn't necessarily going to deal with the stump. Timber! Uh... You saw that, right? <laughs> Uh, I remember stream, uh, yeah. is a bit slow. I think it's uh, like now I'm seeing it, and it sank into the ground. Yep. <laughs> to be fair, you don't have it on realistic mode, so... Well, realistic assembly mode. Okay, so you do have no. to go around. As someone who's uh, had to get a stump out of the ground, it's not fun. No, it's not. I remember doing it during hurricane season. Timber! Yeah, we've actually been really lucky with hurricanes this year. Mm. Sorry, I'm just watching it sink into the void. Alright. <laughs> now we need to put in an oblong-shaped pond. You know, it, it's always interesting when you think about video games because really all you're doing in playing this game is that you're essentially just sitting in a void of nothingness. <laughs> Like, there's probably nothing under your feet except, like, the, uh, the textures that make up the ground. Yeah. Don't, don't think too deeply. I, I wonder, like, how much of game processing is actually having to, like, actually render the gigantic void and stuff like that? Behold. So is that everything? Let me just check. We're gonna do a walk around. Oh, I finished with the job. Yay! Tree chopping. That was easy. <laughs> yes, children should have toys in their room. Let's see. Playground and barbecue. Mmm, barbecue. Mm, barbecue. Oh. I mean, what? Shake's head. Don't shake head. Okay, I have to remove. Oh no. <laughs> I have to remove weed. Okay, where are you, marijuana? Really? I just clicked to remove the weed. Wow. That was exciting. 
Can't you just get the neighbor kids to do this? Offer them ten bucks, they'll do it. Okay, let's see. There we go, the weed. Weeds. Weeds. Weed. If I keep saying weed, I'm gonna get flagged by something. <laughs> Probably. Call them ground plants. Ground plant. My car. <laughs> oh, goody. Lawn m mowing the lawn removes weeds. Remember that, people. Well, I mean... Okay, logically, yes. Under <laughs> it just doesn't remove the roots. Alright. If only you had a weed whacker to whack the weeds. You mean this? Wait, that's a bush cutter. Okay, so here we need to assemble a wooden t child swing. That is the most depressing swing I have ever seen in my life. Oops. I mean, at least it's not, you know, a tire swing. What's wrong with tire swings? I had a tire swing when I grew up. I rest my case. Hey! <laughs> okay, just put it here. Also, when you grew up, has that implied that you've stopped growing? No. That was the easiest tire. That was the easiest swing to ever build. I need a rooster spring rocket chair. Rooster? Really? You want your kid to ride on a Never mind. I stopped my sentences. We all were thinking it though. Why a rooster? And a sand pit. And it's because, you know, child wants what they want. And also a small cherry tree. Dig the hole. Isn't this exciting? Mm hmm. Look. Jeez, like, the amount of uh, people I've seen on Twitter asking for money just makes me sad. Hey, I asked for money on Twitter. I mean, I, I, I didn't specify you or anyone else in particular, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah. It's because we need money and we can't get money because right now, yeah, it's stupid. Mm hmm. Okay, so we got a lot of crap to buy for this guy. A per. What the frack is this? I don't know what this is. I'm confused. Mm hmm. Oh, you want. He wants two of them? Oy vey. There. Eclipse couch. The fuck is this? Hi, I'm a. I, I don't understand this. We want six of these. So hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then a grill potato. Why didn't you buy this grill yourself? Home Depot. Lows even. <laughs> oh no. 
Okay, what do we have to do now? Put in plants. <laughs> what happened? No, it's uh, it's just a reenactment of every uh, YA novel in 2009. Oh, I've read that one. I've seen that. Bon I've seen that. <laughs> You're it's a, hilarious. I am a glass cactus, and you are a something. <laughs> are you enjoying it? Yes. I will start the revolution. <laughs> if I see you again, I will challenge you to power, devour your flesh. Don't ask how I am standing on top of a small tree in doing this. Don't think too touch deeply. I mean, I, I wasn't going to. Yeah. 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 Because, if you start, because if you start thinking, then you're not going to stop thinking. Don't know this number. Uh, apparently a phone call is here. Yes, yes, that's my all my that's my ringtone. Don't laugh, audience. <laughs> anyway, I I hate to be rude, kitty cat, but I'm gonna go take a nap, okay? Okay, you take a nap. I will finish watering this plant. Yep, have fun with that. Have fun flipping the houses and whatnot. No problem. Later. Later. Okay, this one's next. Diggy diggy hole. The hole is now dug. Cover with soil. Water the plant. Let's do this one.
Okay. Thank you.
<laughs> Let's see, we just do this. Go over there.
Okay, paint with sky blue. Okay.
ちょちょOh. Oh, sorry. Oh, I wasn't talking. Uh. <clears throat> sorry for not talking, Graham. Sorry, I was thinking about stuff. I hate thinking. Thinking hurts. Um, I'll send the call to you right away. Did you get your new headset, by the way? that one. I need to figure out what that one is. I think that's plastering. Okay, what has plastering? Mm. I'll do <clears throat> this one. There we go. Hey, now it's working. Yay, don't ask what I did. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Mexican Kitten Simulator. Audience, it's Grim. Say hi, Grim. Hey. Hi, Grim. Thank you, Grim. So, what would... Uh, were you like... Were you having one of those moments where you're just like staring at a wall, contemplating life? Yes, <laughs> Going, I... <"Yeah." laughs> I kind of was. I was just thinking. Yeah. It, well, um, so I bet you're wondering why I'm not playing Final Fantasy 15. Honestly, no. Taking a break is always cool. Well, that and because you know how I'm having a skin condition issue? Yeah. Well, I put the cream all over my hands and the cream is so greasy I can't hold my controller. Yeah, no, no, that's... I can't say I've been there, but I mean... It's fine it's like and besides again i love final fantasy 15 i really do but it's just some days you just want to be a mexican yeah i get it some days i want to yes Grim, some days i just want to be a mexican by the way did you did you get the the sega games they're giving away yep i may or may not have just spent 20 bucks on all the yakuza games 
Uh, well, to be fair, the Yakuza games are always worth it. Yeah, that's what everyone says. Everyone's like, the Yakuza games are awesome. You need to get the Yakuza games. I'm like, well, when they're on sale, I will get them. And, well... For for those, I will legitimately wake up early just if you want me to stream alongside you. Because I, I do genuinely love those games. I'll put that under consideration. Unfortunately, the third, fourth, and fifth game are on PlayStation 3 only. Yeah. And while I do have one, they're very hard to get. Yeah, I have the f I have Yakuza 0, 1, and 2, I think. I think. Yeah, I played Yakuza 0, 1, 2, and 4. Okay, and I'm gonna get 7 the second it comes out. And now we're breaking some walls. Yeah, I was wondering about that. How far can you go with breaking walls? Like, can you, like, re -demol re demolish the entire room and just, like, give it a new layout? Yeah. Well, when, you're, that, when you're in free mode, yeah. Is too, just, just too, the bathroom is too small, honestly. You can when you're doing like the free mode and stuff, but right now I'm working for a client, therefore I must do what they want, which includes this. Not not destroying the bathroom completely. Yeah. Which is a fair thing to ask, you know, when you're a client, you're like, listen, I just need you to paint the walls, please don't destroy the bathroom, and he's like, why? Oh, uh, you missed earlier, I was doing a baby room, and, I, and the guy, the client was all like, my wa beautiful wife is going to be have giving birth to a beautiful dad. -da -da. You know those dad, those types of dads. Yeah, yeah, I do. And I'm sitting here going, "You're." I mean, didn't have him myself, but yeah, I did. And according to this client, the house looks like a trashy single wo single woman lives here, and I'm like. Yeah. Apparently, she the client inherited the house, and she wants it completely redecorated. And that's that's when she doesn't reveal that she was the trashy single woman that left the house a mess. Nope. Oh, you missed the college hat. The college house. It was disgusting. You mean like one of those college like party houses or, yeah, or just like yeah. just bedrooms? So much alcohol. Faster See, I, I, I get it, you know, that house space is a premium, but, but there's a lot of, there's a shit ton of, of fucking, there's a shit ton of, of, of space in the yard and, and the house itself is, is, is ridiculously small. I know. So, wait, I'm missing in a wall area. Where, 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 where? Okay, da, 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 da. <laughs> okay let's see. And I need to remove... Oh, God, there's a basement! Oh, I don't have to do anything in the basement. Thank God! Okay, let's see. Okay, we're gonna destroy this wall. Isn't this exciting? I mean, it, it depends. And I can see how some people are into the whole building thing. That's why Minecraft's so famous, right? Yeah. Like, it, I, I suppose it depends if you have imagination or not. But I, I think there's like several kinds of imagination because I'm, I wouldn't be able to draw you something. Cause, I mean, I don't, I don't know how to express it and shit. But I can sure as hell break a system by using imagination. Yeah. We know. I mean, that's what fighting games are all about. I did consider doing a fighting game, but then I was trying again, grab my controller, I'm like, nope, can't play a fighting game on keyboard. Oh, you can, of course, that's how I play them! I can't. Anybody, listen, listen, listen. Whenever somebody tells you, you know how, you remember one of those moms, one of those moms that go, yeah, I, I, I've, just, I've seen people without arms do this, what do you mean you can't do this? 
Like, that's that's my mother right there. She goes, I mean, I've seen there's people without arms doing it, and I'm like, well, damn. You want me to cut my arms off? Think I'll be better like that? So when somebody says they're like, I can't do this, and I'm like, I mean, you have, you have like the basics down. Okay, let's see. What do I have to do? All right, let's see. First room, paint with the colors faded lemon. First, move this here. Thank you. Why is there a random light switch on the floor? Okay. Because it's not a it's not a light switch. It's a it's a door switch it's oh. to open the sacred basement. There's no secret basement. That's what everybody thinks until they get trapped in it. How about this? You tell funny jokes while I paint the walls lemony. I don't I don't tell funny jokes. No. I tell I tell horrible things and sometimes they say come out funny. Like, the, 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 the secret basement is a joke until you realize that's, like, an actual thing that happens, and you're like, damn, what am I supposed to do with this information? This is a very weird color. You know how I told you that I have a dog that's like 16 years old? Yes. Well, she's she's currently scratching her bed. Like, she, like, like that's going to change it somehow. And she likes doing that, and sometimes she does this for like two minutes until she gets bored. Your dog is doing weird things again? Yeah, just it's... I'd say it's vexing, but she's doing it enough. Look at the delicious yellowy goodness. So I was going through my, my, like, usual, I usually just wake up and be like, all right, what did I, what, what did I, how did Australia get up to, you know? What did Australia get up to? And, I mean, mostly because it's the other side of the world, you know, it's, you know, but, like, I realized that they had released the, the South Park, what's, what's his name? Um, Pandemic Special? Yeah. And I, I'm not, I'm not one to watch South Park a lot. I really don't care for it, mostly because I mean, at some point it started to stop being jokes, and now it's just like sad reality. Yep. But I had to, I had to sit down and see that shit because apparently it's really good. Yeah, apparently it's really good, and I'm like, oh, I mean, sure. Let's see what's up. So there I was preparing pancakes. Well, you didn't bring me any, you monster. Can't, can't, can't. You, you know it can't. But it's, 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 it's always a gripe of mine to not be able to go to every person I, I know and be like, hey, you wanna, wanna get some pancakes, some anything really. I'm, what? I, I'm, I'm one of those, I, I'm one of those fat guys that goes, yeah, I'll, I'll let's go and eat something. I want tacos. See, somebody in chat is like, yeah, I want pancakes. Who's in chat right now? Big game. Oh, it's not. Yeah, this faded lemon does look like 
mushy banana. Yeah. What med what bananas have you been mushing? Shit, I don't Okay, let's see. We need to go shopping now. Shopping! This is supposed to be a kink shame free space. I'm kink shaming you. I've never, I've never understood, like, making fun of someone for liking something. Like, for example, everybody makes fun of the furries because they, like, they're weird, right, and obnoxious most of the time. But, but I don't really make fun of them because they like, like, anthropomorphic stuff or because they like dressing up like animals. Like, I mean... Everything I don't like, it's something I am missing out on, you know? Like, shit, I, it's it's on me that I don't like X thing, what a shame. If I liked it, I could enjoy it, but I don't like it, right? However, I will absolutely jump on to the fact that, well, they're very, they're very inviting. And I don't like that. What, they're, they're very friendly? No, inviting. Friendly, it's one thing. The My Little Pony guys are friendly. But they they don't they they're not inviting. They don't really care if you like it or not. They're just like, yeah, what's your thing? The furries on the other hand will be like, yeah, come here, try this, and they're like, N -n -n thank you, no, but no, no, really, for real, come here, and like, no, I, I swear, I know, I know it's I know it's Lola Bonnie, I know, but I mean, no, thank you. <laughs> this man has a thing for Lola Bunny. Let it be known. It, everybody, come on, everybody has a thing for Lola Bunny. There's two kinds of people in the world, those who have a thing for Lola Bunny, and those are fucking liars. Mandarin, orange, and white. Ew. Yeah, right, like, you have a lot of friends that are furries and all, and I'm, I'm not... And again, the problem is not being or one or liking anything. It's trying to invite people into liking it, especially if it's something private. If it's something open, like, hey, you want to play cricket? Sure, let's go. I don't give a shit. Everybody plays cricket, right? No. Yeah, but you get the point. It's like something that's widely accepted. It's not private. It's it's not like a, a, a private thing to you. It's not like, hey, this is my this is mine stuff. If I want to dress up. By goddamn my OC Pokemon, then it's my deal, right? It's like religion. You can have whatever you want in your soup. Just just don't go around trying to get it into other people's plates. Yeah, it's binary. It's like you like it or you don't like it. You're right. Which it's honestly on you. I mean, if you don't like something, then it's with that, with the, what a shame. Like, I don't like dick. Well, shit, I'm missing out on dick. Yes, you maybe are. It's great. Maybe it's great. Maybe, maybe I don't know. You know who, like, Noah King is? No. You watch Helsing of Rich, right? Yes, I do. You remember Sarah's voice? Yeah. It's a woman, right? Yeah. Well, that woman is no longer a woman. That's a dude now. Congratulations. Right? I mean... And he's, he's on Twitter. A lot. And he's, like, trying to be this... He went for, from, from a shy girl to a bro dude. And it's like... Hmm. I think he's, he's he's understanding some things. Like he's he's going, yeah. I, I'm I'm thinking to myself, well, I, I look pretty gay on that. And he's like, then immediately thinking, well, you do actually try to bang guys regularly. You are gay. You, you can. Before anyone asks, no, I have no idea what I'm doing with the paint scheme. There is somebody asking. However, how did the dead space run go? Oh, dead space went fine. I defeated the monster. The evil is gone. It went pretty well. I was told it would take me three hours to finish the game, and it only took me an hour and a half. 
Be proud of me, Grim. Honestly? Yeah. Getting to scary games is scary. It's just funny that I, my jump scare reactions were non-existent. Face cam and everything, just so people could see my reaction, and I was just like, eh. Jump scare. Spooky. Now, Skull is having issues trying to play evil within. Why is, is it? Is it that like? Is that actually scary? It's, or is it driving you? Is it driving you nuts? The fact that the, the the game's all over the place. Well, both actually. Yeah. Um. I mean, the Evil Within is pretty. It's made by the guy who made the original Resident Evil. No way! Really? Yeah. The original Resident Evil guys works on it. The original director or the original? Okay, let me let me check in that one. Because I mean that 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 game was a yeah. It's Mikami, you're right. It's Shinji Mikami. Yep. That's absolutely it. Why is it so bad though? <laughs> it's not bad. It's just the problem is it's one of those games you really need to pay attention. No, 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 no. Oh. Paying attention is all fine to me. That's not the problem. The problem is that, like, mechanically, it tries to... Sometimes it goes to stealth. Sometimes it goes to, like, Resident Evil 4 action. It doesn't really have a defined atmosphere. There's no really point to it. And like, also, even if you pay attention, it's trying to do too many things at once. And also, you need the DLC to actually fully understand everything. Yeah, I mean, it's... It happens sometimes. Sometimes development gets too long and they're like, well, we're gonna have to... And then you see me just being playing the Gladio DLC and just being happy. Where am I missing paint? You need to you need to continue the main story so you can play Prompto's DLC. That one's cool as well. And Ignis's. Ignis's, actually, you cannot play until you finish the game. I know. And it's not even because it's, well, it does spoil things. It's because you can actually choose things in there that actually give you a different ending. I know. I've been told that. I just want, I just want to play the game and look at Ignis's happy, sexy body. What? What? Huh? Hi. <sighs> oh. <sighs> there we go. Scary bits, but the pain is that they give you combat element, but they give you no ammo to take real use of it, right? Yeah, like, it's, they're trying to do the Resident Evil 4 thing, and then they don't give you the Resident Evil 4 resources. Could which be is worse. like a real... Could be worse. Don't know how, but it could be. No, no, it, it really doesn't get much worse than that. Trying to do something and then not understanding what made it good. It's it's a really common failure. Oh damn, I found a really good gerbil. No, it's a really good combo. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm supposed to go like, yeah, you need in the, during the combat you have to like, every every shot has to count, or you just straight up just waste it. And if you don't burn the bodies, they will just came back. But they limit how many bodies you can burn. Yep. Which is like a thing they did in Resident Evil One. You know, like you had to burn the bodies, 
But you have to. Ha you only really have to burn the bodies in some places. Or they turn into those what? What are they called? Redheads. Yeah. Or crimson they were real. They they were a real cock suck, honestly. Quit, quit, quit sucking cock. I was about to say that's my job. <laughs> you, you say that, but. Mm. And then there's the problem that you really like. They they really don't stick to one like a single. I don't know how to put it, like a single ambience, a single way to create fear. Like an alien isolation is is the exact same thing. They don't give you enough ammo. They don't give you. There's there's a lot of there's not combat, but there's enemies, and there you're, there's certainly you're certainly welcome to try fighting them, but it's a fucking stupid idea. But the game encourages you to try it because they they know you're gonna try to waste your dumb little time fighting them, but it's just like a horrible idea to fight them. But but it works in Alien Isolation because from the beginning it's clear that it's not a good idea to fight the enemies. Yeah, you go fight the Xenomorph, see how that goes, guys. No, the Xenomorph is not the enemy you fight, I mean the, the robots. Oh yeah, the cyborgs. Not yeah, because the Xenomorph is, Xenomorph is Nemesis, it's, he's just gonna fuck you up. Like, he gets real scary. That's when you yell at him and go, bad kitty, no. No, th there's there's an actual problem with the Xenomorph, which is like, since he cannot be certain quantity of meters away from you, you kind of already know where he's gonna be. Look, I'm which, like, the lawn. You you can you can you can tell if he's near you or not, which kind of like, like if you know that he's following you all the time and he cannot get away a certain amount of a distance, it kind of breaks away the the whole thrill of oh is he here or is he not. So all they did is somebody created a mod where they they just made that quantity of space unlimited. And now the Cinemorph can be whatever the fuck he wants to, which is actually scary, not knowing where is he is. He's in the toilet. Killing the poor bastard trying to take a shit. That's the worst way to go. Would you want to be caught dead on a toilet? Nope. Honestly? Yes. I I you ever seen that uh What's the what is the what's the movie? Like True Lies? Honor Source and I think it is. The one where he convinces his he's a spy and his wife finds out. Yep. You ever see how they had a scene where they go into a bathroom and they leave like a carton of cigarettes in one of the stalls? So he checks if somebody's gonna come and try to attack him? And then somebody actually comes in and attacks him. <laughs> when I was a kid, that scene actually got me thinking, Damn, they're right, what if somebody tries to punch me while I'm thinking and shit, or I'm trying to go to the bathroom? <laughs> so since then, I had an irrational fear of going to the bathroom without knowing what the hell. Just like the stupidest way to get a fear. Could be worse. You could have a fear of peanut butter getting stuck to the roof of your mouth. Which is a legitimate phobia, which some people have. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a phobia expert. You can very easily drink water and get rid of that problem. Or milk. Yeah. Like, I don't think you should have a phobia if the answer is, oh, you just have a little water. Like, I can understand being afraid of fires and be like, yeah, shit, well, yeah. That's fair. Fire can destroy anything. <laughs> Nobody's gonna. And you don't need just like a glass of water. <laughs> See, I'm doing a character's like combo trials because I, I like to do the combo trials to like get get a hang of how to play. And then there's the the combo that they give you and be like, all right, you can do this, this, and this, right? Mm -hmm. But all you need to do is replace the last, the last one, for like the strong version of that one, and the combo becomes like it does more damage. It leaves you at a better position, and it's I'm not gonna say it's easier, but when it's the same amount of effort to do, so why why would they give you the the weaker one? So you find out is the game trying to go? Yeah, you can.
can do it. Hot sexy because Zebo making action here, only available on Twitch. And soon YouTube. What is that supposed to be? It's a gazebo. Oh yeah, let me check what's what's aeophobia? Is that like fear of clowns? <laughs> aeophobia, it's a fear of palindromes. I'm sorry. That's a stupid ass fear. <laughs> what? Would you rather have fear of butts? God, no! I would shoot myself. He likes butt too much. No, I understand. It's it's. I, I understand that it's supposed to be the name of the the phobia. It's supposed to be a palindrome in on itself. That's it was deliberate to be named that way. Yeah, but I mean, could you imagine having fear of asses? Not being, able, not being able to take a shit. Having to go... Having to only limit your options to assless girls. Like, in a guild, sure, you can... I mean, you can have an assless girl and you have her, like, magnificent boobs. I mean, sure, I'll take that. But when a, with a dude, if you're gay, you're fucked. I mean, the ass is pretty much the only real... Asset that you can see in a man. I mean, damn. Did you legitimately just say asset? <laughs> then you have to take what little, what little victories you can. How you doing up, by the way, audience? Namskol is just... The last thing he said was he was pointing out the fact that you can read paleophobia with backwards. I mean, I wicked it, you know. Isn't this exciting? We're destroying tiles. It, it actually is, like, a huge oversight that they didn't just let you, like, mark things by going over them. And then at the end of it, like, delete all marked or sell all marked. Yeah, small oversight for them, but, again, they're still working on this game. Scatter the gravel. You want sand. Sand. What kind of monster would like sand for his own house? It's... Oh, it's a park, right? Yeah, it's a playground. Yeah. Yeah, well, I can see that. Still, though, I never understood that whole, Hey, let's go play in the sand! Dogs pee here, dude! I wish I had a... Oh my god, there's actually bigger ones? Having a, play having a playlist for, for gaming is something I didn't understood 
until I started playing Titanfall 2. Because it's so quiet? No, Titanfall, like, Titanfall 2 is a mess. Y you can actually hear the, the fighting around you, and the entire time it's just like, you just hear shooting and fucking explosions, soldiers, the NPCs screaming in the background. It's always a mess, right? However, because it's a mess, you don't really, you're not able to get a good rhythm of things, of what's going on. So if you put a song in the background, mmm, mmm, that's, that's when I develop the, the Ballroom Blitz technique, which is like, you start with Ballroom Blitz at the beginning of the match, and then, and, and you're able to like, get a hang of the map and everything is going out faster, or the, what I like to call the free bird gamble and it's very simple you start with free bird at the beginning of the match and then you have to deal with this slow ass song for like six minutes but that's because you're betting that by the time the solo kicks in you're gonna be able to get the best kill streak ever and does it work <laughs> yes it works it's beautiful I mean, you have heard the solo to Free Bird, right? Yes. It's beautiful. Free Bird! And you're like, you're betting it all. Non-copyrighted music. I think you can just like... You do... Can you, can you do like one of those... What's his name? One of those streaming radio things that they do on on its uh, on YouTube and be like, yeah, like lo-fi beats too. I could if I wanted to. I don't want to. Yeah, but like what I mean is, in terms of copyright, is that like a thing that that would get you in trouble? It depends. Because I mean, if it's good, if it's good enough for YouTube to be like. Transmitting it, I don't think. YouTube channel when you like have a bit of songs that you just want to pick up the ones that are like yeah yeah I have different like playlists for moments that is a problem I will admit to it but it's just like I have to actually do research and stuff and I don't want to it's called I mean you could just I, I think you could just like okay what is it Yeah, there you go. They have an actual, like, Twitch lo-fi list already made on... Already made on, on in YouTube that streamers use a lot of times. Which is like Nintendo lo-fi, Zelda, Wave Music Breath, Wild, Super Mario World, Game Over lo-fi, things like that. There's even a Skyrim too.
So you know what Grand Blue Fantasy is? What? Grand Blue Fantasy. No, and I'm scared to ask. Alright, you know what Fade Glow is? Yes. Alright, Grand Blue Fantasy is the same but with another franchise. It's just a gacha game. Which is like, alright, sure. But, and here's the kicker. There's not a lot of gacha games that go outside of gacha games. Like, Fate has a couple of, like, Musou-style games. And then there's a fighting game. Which is like, alright, sure. Except that Fate started in as a visual novel, so uh, I, I really want him to, I really want Nasu to just get the shit together. And fight another one. However, Granville Fantasy decided, let's make a fighting game. And you'd think it's a, just a, like an anime cash in grave, right? Which, and honestly, they, they didn't. They, they created this really entry level EC in, in the inputs. Which is like, okay, you got your, you get your, your basic attacks, your three basic attacks. And then you got your, if they're not out of combos, but they're like strings attached to every button. And if you want to make a special move, all you have to do is like smash. You just press a button and a direction. And you can do it both ways. You can do it either with an input or with the button. And the only difference is it's not in power, but in how much time can you, do you have to wait till you do it again. Which is like a fraction of a second more. And honestly, like it really balances itself out. Would you think, alright, so what's the style of the game? Is it like a fast game, like an anime game? Or is it like, I don't know, like a you know, fighters kind of game? No, it's, it's a Street Fighter 2 kind of game. Where it's like, they, they have combos, sure, and some of them are a bit longer than others. But it's mostly like a bunch of scrambles that rely on the basics of fighting games and it turned out to be a really good fighting game that nobody expected it to be that good and then came the issue there's waifu wars now about it you wanna it's it's a what it's a gacha game of course it's bound to be waifu wars Except that now the waifu war is watching to see, hey, who's the next character that's coming on to the fighting game? And there's this character that I actually do not know, like I know it because I played the character in the fighting game, not because I know the character itself. It's called Ladiba. Which, as far as everyone's concerned, it's a woman. And as far as everybody's concerned, they refer to her as a she and things like that. Except that you can clearly see that it's a burly, muscular man dressed as a wrestler. And I don't know if it's one of those, oh, he identifies as a woman, or he's just a, or it's just a very manly looking woman, right? Mm -hmm. But here's the, here's the beautiful part of it. In any other fandom or any other one of those community kind of deals, that will be like... A point of contempt, right? For fighting game players, he's just the best girl in the game. Period. Because <laughs> he's a grappler. Or she's a grappler. I legit do not know if that's like a thing I have to watch out for. You could just say they. See, that's, that's, that's not... See, that never made sense to me. Because they, for me, it's a plural. Because that's like how it works grammatically, and that that's less about your gender and more about what do you mean they? Like, are you several people? But that's like like that's like me coming from Spanish because there's no they in Spanish. There's just ellos, ellas, which is which is absolutely plural. So that's a thing that doesn't really translate into other. So I'm not. Am I like? I'm not discriminating against gender, it's just like, oh wait, it doesn't make sense dramatically for me in both of the languages. These are the ugliest colors ever for a kitchen! I mean, no! It's brown! But you don't get to see the stains of grease on the walls, and they do build up with time. Then do black! Uh, I it's, I, I don't know if I'd be comfortable in a black room. Like, one of the walls in my room is purple, and I already hate it. Why? Purple's a pretty because color. It's, because it's like Saints Row kind of purple. Oh. What's which wrong? is a bit darker. What's wrong with Saints Row purple? 
it's it's dark and I don't like I don't like dark colors. My my life's already fucked up enough. I don't need dark colors in my life. Too late. We're putting dark colors in your life. I have three other walls and they are like blue sky and I like blue sky. You think I'd be edgy or some kind of like yeah, blacks my life or something like that? No, I really I really don't. Like I'll dress all in black because I like dressing in black because I it, it doesn't let people see if I stain myself in some way while eating. That's it. That's the benefit I get from drag clothes. It's my life hack. Painting these walls ugly ass colors. See that's that's what? Subject. Could you do like could you do like a checkered like a checkered kind of thing? Be like, alright, it's one stripe brown, one stripe black. I could do that. But that means thinking and I don't want to think. I mean, if the client's gonna be an asshole about it, then you might as well just play along. Oh, I'm already doing this weird half- I'm doing a yin-yang thing right now, actually. And does that mean that you need to make, like, two stripes in the middle of each of the opposite color? Oh my god, don't remind me. Let's just finish the painting and seeing if how much paint I have left. Looks like chocolate and vanilla now. And now I want ice cream. Graham, get me some ice cream. Can't. Why not? Whole distance thing. Why is there gotta be distance? Because then we'd be in the same place as China, and China sucks. I'm okay with distance if it keeps me away from China. But Chinese food. Doesn't matter. See, I'm not against Chinese people. I'm against the Republic of China itself. Oh, you're against the government of China. Yeah, like the whole let's create actual concentration camps and commit actual genocide kind of thing. Yee. Okay, see, now we make sense now. Fuck, I gotta do that wall over there. I mean, I have to know. Wait. Is she? No, she's not, please. What? No, she's Japanese. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, wait, am I speaking against the origin country of Hitomi Tanaka? No, please tell me I'm not. Who? Hitomi Tanaka would be. Would... I'd, I'd say it's like a porn actress in, in terms of Japan, I guess. Because, I mean, she's a J-A-V actress, which is porn, but I don't know if they have a different name for it in Japan. They're saying in chat that you can't throw it. What, what could you throw a few minutes ago that I didn't read? Oh, I can throw the ice cream at you. That's that's okay. Could you actually throw ice cream at that velocity without having it melt? No. 
Where am I missing paint? You didn't ask for enough paint, that's what you get. We need to get you a way to get rid of the whole background sound of the other thing. What background sound? You can hear the air going on in the background. What air? Like the like straight up the ambience on the back. You mean my air conditioner? No. For example, can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, can you hear the fact that there's like air on the background, like space? No. So when I don't speak, my line is silent? Can you tell can you tell the difference when I mute myself on the on, on Discord and when I do not? Not really. Interesting that that this does have noise reduction, huh? It's cool. Look at this disgusting moldy peach color. This is not peach. <laughs> this is human flesh color. No, it's a what? What? Well, Caucasian here. That's not <laughs> Caucasian. It's Caucasian. This is white paint for white people. That's not. That's not human color, is it? There, I, I, there are people that color. I mean, yeah, there are people every color. Go to the bathroom. Think you can keep the audience entertained while I go to the restroom? I mean, it's me and Nam's cold, so I, I guess so. You guys can talk about Dead Space. I mean, what's your what's your poison boy? What's your favorite genre? <laughs> so, I mean, I've invented on my own. I, I'm going to talk about fighting games. Fighting games or my upcoming project which is to take a Raspberry Pi and stick into it a 5 terabyte drive and download as many movies as I can and create my own archive of movies. Cause I'll be damned if I fucking despise having to go, wait where is X movie online? Yeah, well, depends on the fighting game. Some of them are a mess to watch. Like, blink and you miss what happened. And I mean that literally. And some of them are like, really... F well, they're not friendly to watch. Because, for example, in a Tekken match, you can see and it looks cool, but you don't really get to know what happened most of the time. Sometimes even the players go like, wait, 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 what the fuck has happened? And then there's Street Fighter V, which is supposed to be super friendly to watch. 
but that's only because the game it's like ass. Then there's Street Fighter The Strike, which is like the beautiful, most beautiful sport known to mankind to watch. But playing it is holy shit, roly. And then there's Coral Girls, which is like cool to watch because I mean, sex girls. What but I mean, it's a goddamn mess. What are you talking about? See, I was, I was like, I was explaining the fact that I mean, I like fighting games. So I mean, he's like, well, I mean, I, they are fun to watch, but like some friends are into them. And I'm explaining the fact that well, it's very different game to game, and some of them you can see what's going on, and some of them you cannot. Some of them you can, you, you like blink and you're fucked. You didn't pay attention. And some are just there for the sexy girls. Yeah. Like, Dead or Alive used to... It used to have sexy girls and a really good combat system. No, and it now just it, has... Just has, it just has sexy girls and the combat system, it's not... It's not It's not bad, but it's not like... It's not like it used to be. Didn't Dead or Alive have that AI that basically cheats when you're trying to get for the, go for the bikini outfits? It's, it doesn't cheat. It's just like... An AI in a fighting game cannot lose. Well, it can. It depends. I don't know how to explain this. You have to create a, an AI that's as, as, as human as possible. And I think the best AI in fighting game right now would be a... It's it's a killer instinct. And it goes from normal, hard, very hard, to just simply name Kyle. And Kyle is the name of the guy that programmed it. And that computer is a motherfucker to beat. So, the problem is that you have to make them human, you have to make them, like, how aggressive you want them to be and shit like that. And the AOA's thing is just like, they just, yeah, let's make it as aggressive as possible, as efficient as possible, and less making mistakes as possible. Just, just for shits and giggles. Now, cheating is with, with some, some actually do shit by reading what you're inputting. Like... When you press a button, it takes a few frames to know what you did, because, I mean, cause and reaction, why you have to see what the what the button is. So the, the computer just knows instantly the second you press it. So, so for you, like, 12 frames of advantage, because you know what's going on, it's not much, but a computer, that's like, they already know what to do, and they fuck you over for it. And that's why I don't like playing against the AI and hard difficulties. No, you you'd be fi you'd be hard first to actually find a an AI that's like actual bullshit instead of just oh yeah he's beating you with fundamentals, which would be the King of Fighters games, and that's not the AI. The character is just broken. They want this room painted with lines. Ah, so now you can do one color and then one color. Hold on, we have to clean these windows first. Squeaky. Apparently, you can put into the game files custom pictures, and I'm sitting here going, should I put funny custom pictures of, of things? Honestly, just replace the texture folders. With your, uh, with your already, already pretty much confirmed collection of Gladio picks. What confirmed? How dare you! You do realize that people can hear you press the F12 button when you take a screenshot, right? Yeah, because the freaking <laughs> Steam is snitching on me. <laughs> Steam, goddamn snitch! That we were friends. I mean, yes, I'm fully aware of it, but everyone also knows that I use those images for, well, thumbnails. Ah, that's what they call it nowadays, all right. And art references. Art references of Gladio and Ignis. Very important. Very, very important. Is Prompto just too close to home? Prompto's way too close to home. Way too close to home. And Sydney's your thing. Sydney's 
See this everybody's thing. Don't don't even pretend. I mean, I like the lady with the lance, with the white don't hair. Like, like, don't even pretend <laughs> that's not Sydney's not. Come on. Yes, because she looks like a Jap looks like a redneck version of Android 18. If I remember you saying once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's. They 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 did it. The mad geniuses were like, should we? And they, why not? Create the perfect woman. I, I don't know if we should. What what's gonna be of humanity after this world? They're gonna have to deal with it. Man is, gonna, like man is gonna have to fap alone. Yeah. Welcome to We're, what was educational and fun, interesting talk with one friend to perversion talk with another. Listen, the way I see it is. If I can be as, as fucked in a conversation as I am informative, then I'm doing a great job at it. Also, my voice is shot to hell, can you tell? What did you do last night? Nothing, I just, you know, work... Work talking eight hours, nine hours a day. And what did you learn from that? That most people are... The way I see it is, if Americans can speak English, then anybody can. Hey! <laughs> what do you mean it's too hard? An American can do it, and, and you can... If you use that against little kids in schools, they go, Alright, I'll try. <laughs> and then they cry at night. <laughs> Why are you crying, Billy? My teacher said that Americans can read English and I can't. Well, shit, Timmy. Sounds like a bit of a... You problem. A bit of a you problem. <laughs> they want me to mount a towel radiator in here. Pastel pink for a bedroom. <sighs> I mean, it says pastel on it. How, how bad could it be? It's pastel pink. Yes, pastel means cake. No, 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 no. Grim, grim, grim. American pastel, not, 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 not Spanish pastel. Yeah, it means it means cake. I just want cake. Did you not? I do. See? What's the problem? It says pastel. It's like finding a can that says happiness in it. Yo, yeah, no. Well, happiness in another language. I mean, well, it says happiness. What do you want? It probably has black olives in it. Because that's happiness in a can. Black olives? Yeah, is there something more delicious than black olives in a can? No. It's good. It's good. I do like black olives. See? Like, maybe, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe, like, like those, like, pickles. Gherkins? No, pickles. Yes, gherkins are a type of pickle. What, what's, what's the name of those that are, like, like, the ones that you actually see on, on movies? Garlic kosher dills. Garlic I don't, shit, you got me on that one, I don't know. See, I'm not a farm guy. I wouldn't know about those things. Yes, because being a farm guy would actually help you understand pickles. Yes. I'm from the desert and I don't know shit about pickles. I have to assume it comes from some other kind of development city. Welcome to... I will now teach him how pickling works. Later. Listen, listen everybody's, got, everybody's got something in life that we're born to do. Yes, and my thing was to paint this wall pastel pink. Cake pink, yes. It's not cake pink. <laughs> That's what it means, though. <laughs> also, it kind of is the color they use in, fake, in cake for, for pink. I will grant you that. I mean, I'm not an artist, sure. Uh, so I'm not, I don't really, I don't really have a good color for color. I don't know if that makes sense. 
Yeah, and he thinks my fashion choices are horrible. I want to point this out. I don't think your fashion choices are horrible. I think... <laughs> I think... Ah, oh, shut up. I was gonna say something bad. <laughs> that my taste in clothing is horrible. No, no. I was gonna say that you're horrible for making those choices. <laughs> See, it's different. I happen to like black. Oh, I mean, black is cool for clothes, but I mean, that's because you're a utilitarian. I'm you not go like, yeah. I'm not a utilitarian. No, I am, and that's why I say that. So, so if that's why it would be cool in clothes because you're a utilitarian. Otherwise, then you're just weird. Or all your shirts that have funny phrases on them just come in black. Yeah, that works as well. But I mean, I kind of went over the stage of having things printed on shirt, printed on shirts, because I, like, I mean. I'm getting to the point where I'm seriously considering to just straight up learn how to do, how to just like make my own shirts. I legit went so I can go to one of those, you know. All those, like, retirements and parties and things like that, they have to get their shirts from somewhere, right? Yep, there's special websites, and they hire artists to do the art for them so they can... No, 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 no. What I mean, like, like the, when you get, when you get like, 12 shirts that I'll say, hey, this is mixed birthday or something like that. Kind of want to go, like, all right, so I'll take one of these shirts, and I'll take, like, I don't know, the Diamond Dogs symbol from Metal Gear and be like, hey... Give me like 35 of those motherfuckers. And that's it. That's all I need for the rest of my life. 35 chairs. They are perfectly the same and I don't care about anything else. Is that a, like a psychopath thing to do? To have a, a, a thing filled with the all the exact same shirt? No, that makes you basically a character in an anime. No, because I mean... Those guys, they dress in style and shit. I just want a t-shirt. <laughs> Like, I'd be the shittiest looking main character in an anime. You would be. Always going, yeah, why don't we just solve this with X? But, but the plot, yeah, I don't, I don't, let's, let's, it's just late. I wanna go home. <laughs> Can we just, like, we just shoot the motherfucker? He obviously, she's obviously gonna do it again. But, but you need to give them a chance to, to what, to do it again? No, thank you. That's, why that's do you bad. think I. <laughs> Why do you think during the current arc that's happening in the manga for, so far, I'm going, why don't they just burn his fucking arms off? Yeah, why don't you just, like, shoot him? Because we're heroes! No, no, no. no, no. The no. Hero saves people, and trust me, if you shoot him, you're gonna save a shit ton of people. That's so why I, don't you? That's what I said. I'm like, well, there's hero they're heroes. I'm like, dude, they would be heroic stopping this villain, even if it means, you know, burning his arms off. Like, I get it, right? Batman doesn't kill. Haha. -ha. Well, I'm pretty sure you cannot kill if you're a vegetable. But I mean, you're still alive, right? Yeah, you're still alive. So just leave just leave the Joker and the Joker in a wheelchair and that's it. Yeah. Welcome to serious talk about a about anime tropes. I yesterday I don't usually receive hate mail on Steam from players, which is like this. That's like a thing. I I really want to get more because I mean I don't really play a lot of fighting games, but if I manage to piss somebody enough to add me on Steam and go to all the problems to add me, have me accept and be, just to send me a salty message, I'll take it. Except that I'm getting the hell out of somebody called Big Silver. And I'm doing it by doing the exact same move again and again because this idiot is trying to kick me in the same way again and again or trying to do unsafe moves at me. And I honestly want him to just get salty and be like, huh, I wish you have cancer or some stupid shit like that in a message. 
<sighs> he earns. He he only wants something simple in life. Yeah, I want I want the small things, small victories. It's Man, League of Legends, those were the days. God, Le League of Legends. I remember I stopped playing because a friend of mine got way too serious for it. I'm like, dude, it's just a game. He's like, it's not a game. We have to win. I'm like, dude, chill. We're playing against bots. They don't have feelings. I hope. Yeah, you you can't hurt them. That's the that's the problem. Yeah, but he's like, well, we're, you know. And then we did fight against people, and he got worse. And I'm like, okay, listen, I'm not having fun anymore because you're basically wanting. This is horrible. When the game starts becoming more of a chore or more of a, you know, you're sucking the fun out of it, it's like, yeah. Yeah, but this this is a beautiful thing. In a fighting game, it's you against somebody else. There's no team. There's no random elements because, you're, of course, you're not playing Smash because that's not a fighting game. But you get the idea. The Smash Bros are now freaking getting all angry. Yeah, they're not, I mean... Man, they choose to play Smash Bros. They cannot... Well, the other, thing, like... the other thing is, and I think it's hilarious, when it comes to the Smash Bros. fandom, it's like you have those dudes that are elite a-holes who are like, Melee was the best one and anything after it was is shit. I'm like, dude, Melee wasn't that great. Oh, I mean, it was good. It just, you know... It was. Ah shit, that's what I get for trying to do a flashy combo. I should just like stick to what I like. Sexy butts. I mean, yes! But, but I mean, doing like... Simple punishes... Basic mix-ups, I'm not... Like, I like gambits, but I don't like... Overcomplicating, cause... Overcomplicating... Leads into, oh, I fucked it up! And I had a perfectly good chance. Which is a weird thing to say because I always play complicated characters. But I only play complicated characters because they got the most quantity of tools. off my balls. So you're you're in fandoms, right? You like the whole interacting with somebody else, right? Yes. What's the the point of it? What do you mean? I like one piece. I like it to the point where I consider it something I strive for in terms of storytelling. Because it's a it's a fairly good story, right? And the way he tells it is pretty fucking good. However, I wouldn't speak to another One Piece fan because most of them are obnoxious as shit. I don't know how to explain fandom to you. It's basically you're supposed to find people who are like-minded, you know, talk about stuff. Yeah, but like, like people that are like-minded, I don't think I don't think they exist. I find some people that kind of like agree with me on some things, but not somebody. Not somebody who understand why Kill Bill is the greatest movie of all time and actually go, Oh yeah, it's absolutely right. Second one. Which is like, and, I, and, and you can see there's a lot of infighting in, in fandoms, like, ah, oh, damn. Yeah, well, when you do fandom, I, I like to curate my own little fandom, basically talk to like-minded people, but not talk to all of them, because you know there's always the bad seeds and the infighting, trust me. But, but like, if that's what I don't get, why would you want to talk to, with people that are like you? That, that's boring. 
it's just wanting to share your expression and love for something. It's comp. Well, yeah, like you you want to express it with people that see it different. They be like, "What do you mean, Steven Universe is not about depression? Oh, so it's about consumerism in a world filled with actual gems? Oh, that's that's interesting. Hmm. I mean, it's fucking stupid, but I mean, it's interesting at the very least. I mean, I for one know that I enjoyed the hell out of Steven Universe, but I didn't really. It's not about consumerism, though. Yeah, I know that it's not. Because I'm, I was giving a stupid ass example, but it's. I mean, it's. If you manage to find a correlation between Steven Universe and consumerism, I, I read the hell out of that. But if everybody's like, well, I mean, like if somebody goes, I watch Steven Universe because it helped me cope with so many things in life, I'm like. Listen, buddy, if your problems were just bad enough that you could cope with them by watching Steven Universe, they were not, they really weren't problems. <laughs> they legit were. <laughs> cough, cough. See? Like, they, 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 they shouldn't have been able to be deal with that. Especially since a, it's since a horrible example of how to deal with a lot of problems. We know. However, somebody knows, somebody walks up to me like, so why do you watch Steven Universe? Are you kidding me? That Pearl is fine, and I'll be like, "All right, that's this is an interesting conversation to have." Pearl's not that hot. I mean, sure, Pearl's not that hot, but I'll take guarded every goddamn day of the week. Would it technically what? be a threesome then? What? Uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. So still, see, see what I mean? It's like different opinions are actually interesting to go. Oh yeah, sure, why? Well, it's also fandom is supposed to be a place where you discuss stuff like what you what we were talk what like what you're saying here, but the problem is a lot of people just stick to like mindedness they, or whatever. They take it, they take it too seriously. Mm, yeah. And then they don't understand that not liking something you like, it's not saying you don't like you. It's also like that whole because there's hardcore Steven Universe fans, and I have been hyped. I like Steven Universe, but I am also a believer of if you like something, you can be critical of it. And I am very critical of Steven Universe. And everyone's like, if you like Steven Universe so much, why do you keep pointing out the bad points? I'm like, I'm pointing out Rebecca Sugar isn't as great as a writer as she, everyone thinks she is. No, 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 no. It's the other way around. It's because you like something that you have to be critical of it. Well, I mean... See, I... It's, not, it's not... It's not... Oh, yeah, I, I can be critical. No, you have to be. If you like it, you have to be. You have to like better. You have to expect either better or worse. Yeah, and I've even pointed out, Rebecca Sugar, her writing isn't that great. I'm kind of pissed off what she did with Lapis. I'm very pissed off with Onion. See, that's just... I, I actually didn't care for Onion. I didn't. I really didn't. I don't like Onion, period. Especially after what Rebecca Sugar said, which was, uh, Onion is a person on the spectrum. And as it's... a person on the spectrum, and... It, Come on. And come on, everybody in Steven Universe is some kind of a Come on, that's yeah. not. That's not. No, but can I please say what I wanted to say? Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But as a person who's on the spectrum and sees so many media portrayals of people on the spectrum, you either have the Onions or the Sheldon Coopers, and you never have like in between. In between, it's always like, okay, this person's autistic, and they're like this or this. I'm like, but autism is a lot more complex, and there's different things, and you know what I mean. That being said, uh, Sesame Street did a really good job with that. Oh yeah, yeah, the character in that one's pretty good. It's actually really good. So, but but like I said, you get that a lot in media, and I'm like, I'm not neither of these. I am autistic. Please stop portraying me like this. It was. I was gonna say it's like if you are annoyed with people, annoyed with that's America. Also, that's also unfair, cause I mean, there's also a lot of annoyed autistic people that are like that. Yeah. But I would like to see is, me on the screen for once in my life, please. Thank you. Which is kind of the problem, because there's a lot of ways to define that. It's not like you can just... Uh, this fucking asshole has the worst internet in the world, and he's just... I bet he's playing on a PlayStation. Who? This, I'm, 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 trying, I'm taking castle matches and some... Sorry, sorry, I'm deviating, but you get the point. See, like, I, I, I don't know if I'd qualify to be on that, but it sure as hell have some kind of deficit disorder shit like like attention span or some shit like that but 
but but I don't see myself on TV. I see assholes on TV, and I do go, oh yeah, I'm totally that guy. Yeah, I, I would absolutely do that. But I mean, I don't complain if I don't see myself on TV because I I kind of think I'm boring. I'm too practical at things. I don't I don't really like take risks. I wouldn't go, oh yeah, let's. Let's go on an adventure, see if some. No, let's just find a way to solve this issue, and and I don't know. Let's let's, let's go eat something. Yes, yeah, it's playing on a fucking PlayStation. Go eat shit. I don't want to eat shit. <laughs> but then there's a the problem with things that don't make sense. For example, shipping. We don't talk about shipping on this channel. Like, why would you? Like, why would you get? Heated about something like that if it's just not canon. Okay, now we're. Well, well, I was like, yes, and then we stopped the conversation. <laughs> because I know that the word, the shipping word, will open up a can of worms, and basically it's going to be like that scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark where everyone's face melts. But, but, but it is interesting to go, okay, sure, maybe those two would make a good couple. And uh, then you create a story around that, and maybe it's a good story. I'm, I'm not going to go, oh yeah, nobody should write shipping. That's stupid. It's not canon. No, it doesn't make sense, right? What doesn't make sense is to think somebody laughs just because they ship X with Y. Like, I, I'd seen people ship, I think, Ochako and fucking Bakugo. Bakugo. That's a popular And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I'm like, then what's the problem? It's all fake anyway. I don't see an issue with it. I don't. I just don't see why people do do that shit because I've never seen them interact in a way that would be like, yeah. It's. It, I. I think it's one of those human sweet and sour kind of things. It's also maze likely like this thing where like people like the idea of them together and you know. What I don't get is why people like the character of Bakugo at all. Well, in the manga, he goes through a major character arc. So. Yes. I'm up to date with the manga, and that's exactly the problem in the manga. On the first chapter of the manga as well, he told Deku to fucking kill himself. Yeah, but now he's grown up and learned. No, it doesn't, ma it doesn't matter. You cannot redeem that. You cannot redeem somebody who really and willingly will. Yeah, sure, you want a fucking chance of getting superpowers, boy? Fucking jump off the roof. That's too much of an asshole, and I think... The, the writer knows that, and I think he. I read somewhere that he went, "Yeah, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have done that. It was too much. It's too hard to redeem. It's too impossible." And yet, people are easily ready to redeem Endeavor. Endeavor's a different thing, though. He's a child abuser and a life painter. We don't know. Question mark. Yeah, yeah, but like, how how to explain Endeavor is a. Uh... He's constantly in actual danger of dying for saving others. Why? Because he's on fire 24-7? No, I mean because like he actually does the dangerous stuff. Unlike most of the heroes in the series, he actually, on he actually, honest to God, goes down with the police and goes like, all right, we're going to do this this way, and actually does actual good and, and effective hero work. Which, like, it's, it's so weird, right? To be like, eh, he's one of the worst pieces of shit of a show, but he's such a good hero. Yeah. And not he's not such, he's not Superman kind of hero, but it's just like, oh, he saves everybody. No, no, no. He actually goes and does the practical things. He actually goes and does, like, what should be going on in the situation. I'm now, which just, is like, a, I'm now just imagining why? him saving a cat from a tree, and it's the most adorable thing ever. Imagine yeah, it. No. No, it's, it's, it's the other side to be like, yeah, he's, he's creating a fucking contention area with the police. Oh, really? Yeah, he's, he's, he's evacuating a shit ton of people because that's the first thing you do. Oh, shit, I didn't... Then why is he such a piece of shit? Well, I mean, that's... That's because... That's a... That's a profound character for you. That's... That's how it's supposed to work. They're not supposed to be two-dimensional. Like Bakugo, which is... He just screams and pretends that thinking that you're not good enough is some kind of character trait. And again, he is improving, but again... Kill yourself. Hey! No, he is improving, but kill yourself. That's what he said. I know. 
but I mean, you, you can you can go with this entire character, but he, but he X or he Y, which in on itself, it's like, like I can see how somebody as a person can grow up to be that, and I I can see that happening in real life. Sure, I can see that. I can see that, for example. Let's give the most impossible scenario ever. Let's say that Mr. Rogers beat his wife. No! Let's like, say what I mean. And then it's fucking Mr. Rogers. And then he had... He was a human being. He had his dark side. Sure. Because it's it's stupid to think that people don't have dark sides. It would be actually like... Alright, you're a psychopath. You don't... Alright, sure. Which what? psychopath doesn't mean you're inherently bad. It just means that you're broken. Welcome to really deep, creepy stuff talking. Can we talk about something happy, please? Sure. You know what? You know what Black Dynamite is? Who? Black Dynamite. Yeah. What about it? Black Dynamite is like this cool black ass black guy that got animated into an an anime once. Yeah, yeah. Based off of the yeah. black, it's based off black exploitation of the 1970s. But it was pretty. That's the that's the dopest shit ever. Like Dolomite, god damn, that was beautiful. But but you get the idea, right? Yep. So they did a chapter once in the animated series where he's trying to get like orphans to get she's trying to get them like a birthday present and he's he's got an orphan an orphanage. So he's like, Alright, let's let's leave them somewhere safe. So he takes them to a taping of Mr. Rogers show. <laughs> and Mr. Rogers turns out to be this he's 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 actually like even in the world of let's make fun of everybody. He's he's going. You'll always be. You'll always be my end words, right? Oh no! And they're like, and they're like, but he's he actually, honest to God, loves the children. And when they try to approach him the, from the TV, they're like, listen, you know that funding you got from PBS that you thought it were gonna be sinking into the show? Yeah, it's fucked. We it gone. It, your show is just not good for. It's just too expensive. When in reality they like blew it on coke and prostitutes, right? And they're like, "But listen, we got you some more money. Here, we can, we can, we can start selling these to go with the system, with the program, right? You're gonna start selling refined sugar because we found out every addict ever has been a children. So if you start them out on sugar from the beginning, it's easier, right? And then we're gonna sell these obesity teas, which are like extra large teas with your face on it." And and then Royers he just snaps and starts looking at a mirror and goes like, "I told you, they they don't care about the children, and if they don't care about the children, then nobody else will. All right, so you have to take care into your, you have to take things into your hands." And he kills them all with a fucking piano string. And it turns out that Mr. Royers was a Vietnam survivor and went ahead saving children from Vietnam. And all he wants is to actually, honest to God, keep the children safe. So he goes into this Rambo rampage. <laughs> and I and I find that beautiful that it's such a it's such a beloved character that even in a show where they were making fun of everybody, they decided to make him this absolute paragon of justice that he go went as far as going mad trying to ch save children. I didn't even grow up with the man. And I know about it. Now I need a radiator. Where the frack does the radiator go? Oh, it goes over here. Yep. 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 I always hate how you leave these little, 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 little spots in the windows. Yeah, but they go away completely. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> that's... Destroying it? my soul. You have a soul? It, you'd be surprised. Okay, where am I missing?
Okay. Gardening. Yay! Oh, they just sent me an Amazon email. My yes. hard drive is, is shipping. Yay, where's it going? He's gonna home home. He's gonna come home to Papa. Papa. It's a five terabyte drive. My point still stands. Which normally I wouldn't I would never dream of buying something like that because it's like two hundred and fifty dollars and I'm like damn. But then they, they give it like a 60% discount on Prime Day, and I'm like, yeah, I'm taking this. That's 5 terabytes. I'm going to have free space for like 3 years now. I need 9 of these, so... One. And you know, Hero Ethics aside, you know what I really don't like about My Hero Academia? That it started out with Deku using his brain. And now it's ending with Deku not using his brain? And now it's ending with Deku going, yeah, let's let's just use more power. Two, Be like, come on, man, you were better than this. Three, four, Is that all Shonen problem? Most likely. Our bed's done. This one's good. Ah, okay, now you need a hammock here. That's done. What do I need here? Okay, so you want this. Hold on. See? Yeah, because the games are gonna be weird. Because you know how we've been going. You should do the main quests. Uh -huh. You should do the quests. Yeah, because the games are stellar because you can get lost in the city and actually genuinely enjoy every inch of it. So, did you never get one of those, like, groups to play Among Us with? I don't even have Among Us. I mean, it's free on the cell phone, that's why everybody's playing it. I... No, I haven't. It's... it's such a... it's such a weird game. I know. Because it could be the best game ever if you play with the right people, and it could be just the worst thing, most boring shit ever. I know. Behold, cat knows things. Well, yeah, but it's like... And you have to have a prerequisite of friends to have it. That's immoral. Okay... <sighs> I 
Hey, did you? Okay, uh, it was like, did you might die? No. Why? It it went completely silent for a second. I was concentrating. No, 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 no. Silent, as in I couldn't even hear the background on your line. Oh, joy. Well, as you can clearly see, we're fine. No, yeah, yeah I'm saying, I'm saying. Okay, I need to put one more of these plants. Put it somewhere. Somebody's going, yeah, you know, Terry Bogard is the fellow alcoholic character to appear in Super Smash Bros. Everybody's like, yeah, no, Isabelle was in the game. I don't think I'm using Twitter right. Why? So I don't I don't ever use it to speak. Very rarely do I send a tweet out, however I spend a good chunk of time on it. Just staring at it? No, I I, I follow a lot of artists. And boy Boy Good. They're good at what they do, that's, 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 that's for sure. He is watching porn. I mean... Oh, did you see what happened with the Oculus Rift? What happened? So you know what you know what that is, right? That that's a headset, a VR headset, right? I'm very well aware of what the Oculus is. Nice. So, a few years ago, I'd say, uh, Facebook bought Oculus. Yep. And everyone was like, "Yeah, that that shit's gonna go to hell real fast." And they were like, "No, no, we promise. It's just it's just like an inversion thing. They're not gonna. Yeah. They're not gonna." No, right? They now require you to have Facebook connected. I'm very well aware of that, that controversy. And did you see that they're breaking systems if they ban the account? Mm-hmm. So now somebody's going, all right, here's a, here's a bounty. It's $5,000 to whoever jailbreaks the goddamn Oculus Quest. And then somebody, some other streamer going like, yeah, I'm doubling this. I'm doubling this. If whoever finds this, I, 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 I'll fucking put in another 5k. So now there's a $10,000 bounty to whoever can heal break that shit first. And that's beautiful to me, honestly. And then somebody went and posted in, 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 in the gaming subreddit. So, I got hacked. I got hacked, um... Nintendo Switch, right? Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, if you hack it and you install, like, if you hack it, you can install better, better teams. It's way easier. They just look better. If you hack it, you can get this streaming platform from your PC, in which you, this is basically an NVIDIA shield that works with gaming. So if you hack it, the Nintendo Switch, actually, it's worth the buy. So what's wrong? Why is Nintendo not doing this? Like, if you hack the, the, the Switch, it's a pretty cool console that even lets you play your PC games from the Switch. So what, what the hell? And that's such a weird thing to me. I, I think Nintendo would have been like, wait, 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 wait. How did you manage that? Come here, work for us, tell us. How yeah. do we get this to every Switch? Yeah, but you also have to remember that Nintendo is a butt. 
About what? About children's toys? Copyright. No, come on, copyright's got nothing to do. This is a programming thing. If Nintendo went all like, hey, here's new themes. They look better, they go better, and they're easier to install. Bam, free for everybody. And guess what? Next month, we got yourselves streaming from your PC. Whatever the fuck you want, boy. There's no need for copyright. You just use this application that Nintendo creates. Bam, there you go. Now you're streaming your, your desktop into the, the you, whatever the shit you want. Really? Yeah. And then suddenly... A shit ton of Switch get bought, not because they got games, but, get, but because it's a really good portable PC, PC option. And then suddenly Nintendo's winning the goddamn console war. Again. No, they lost last time. The PS4 wiped the floor with everybody. And honestly, I think this time they did as well. Like, the only real thing Xbox got going for itself is the Game Pass. Yeah. If you've been watching Decker's streams, he keeps talking about it, and I'm like, Decker, stop! It's just, it's just that it used to be such an... such a debate. Who's gonna win? Who's who's gonna get the more things? And now it's just, ah, the Xbox is, is losing hard. There's not really a point to it anymore. Like, not even if you like Halo, because all the good Halo games are on PC. Like, they, they, did, a, they did a horrible sh job with, with some of the games with the Master Chief Collection, but they're apparently fixing them. I know for sure that I, I still got mine. See, it's it's amazing what humans find interesting to do. Why? Like you're pretty much just scrubbing the floor <laughs> and taking away dirt. Don't insult it. This is relaxing. Yeah, but like, would you do it? Would you like? No. Would you go to no right? No, I would not actually do this in real life. No. So no. you don't like the action of doing it. You like filling up tasks. Isn't that like most video games? Yeah, you'd be surprised. In a game, in a fighting game, there's no real. Let's fill this up. It's just pretty much you against the world, and see if you can figure it out. And then there's Factorio, which is pretty much, hey, you wanna do X, the video game. And then there's Minecraft. Hey, you wanna fucking do the video game. And then there's any racing sim. Which honestly, that those those kind of have their merit. You do actually translate some skills from them. Like the the rally simulators are so good that there's like a video of an actual rail rally driver going through one of the one of the games, like actually managing real good with it and be like, yeah, shit, this this shit is good. I think we're gonna stop now. I'm getting staring at the screen too long, going crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy, going crazy. I mean, just turn off the stream.
Yeah, I'm about to stop, turn off the stream. So, uh, good night, everybody. Say goodbye, See Graham.